Yes, Pixel, episode 15, just the boys today. What's up, boys? Hey, it is just us. You know what? I've been actually Heck looking yeah. forward to this. I think we needed... It's been... Uh, sorry, 15, what? We're 15, 15 episodes doing in. This. That's crazy. So we went... I don't think I've done anything for 15 weeks. We went... Wild. We had 13 people on the show then, because episode and one episode was just 10 us, was, right? Uh, Spec and uh, Hidaruma. Oh, so, so we technically had 14 people. Yeah. That's wild. Mm -hmm. That's actually crazy. That's actually, yeah, that feels good, man. I, I really <sighs> enjoyed it. I feel like a, like a, some of the biggest feedback I've gotten from viewers and listeners of the podcast is like, it's so nice to see people that I've seen on the server as a person, not as a character. Because even when you're streaming, like when you're streaming, you're, you're also sort of yeah. a heightened version of yourself. Yep, and I think because much. we're part of the beauty of being offline and not streaming this podcast like a lot of Twitch like meta podcasts do, it just lets people relax and like calm down and think about what they're going to say. And, you know, they can trust us to carry the weight of that for a little bit. So that's good. I, I've really been enjoying it. I want to keep doing it. Yeah, I agree. It, uh, I think that's one of the most important things when like. Like playing games with the no pixel people like outside of RP or just talking to them or doing anything outside of role play is like super important because these are the people we like interact mm -hmm. with all day long and we only ever get to know their characters, right? Which you should never take any of that kind yeah. of stuff serious to begin with. Like if somebody says something in character, you gotta remember that's in character. That's not that might not be how they feel mm -hmm. out of character. Yeah, like right? I had so. a I had a thing where um Miles on Connor the other day gave Hydra five strike points. And for like running in the halls or something, it was just, it was goofy. It was just yeah, goofy. Fucker. Right. And for a sec, for like one <laughs> second, I was like, I'm actually mad that I'm getting this from my friend miles away. Like, why is he doing this to me? And then I was like, oh no, wait, this is it's role play. It's role play. It's not it's miles. Not it's miles. Connor. Yeah. Connor like, what am I doing? And he's, specifically and then I like, a I doubled character. down and I was like, well, I'm going off duty. If you're going to do this to me, stubble. <laughs> And then he gave him like a speech like, if you do this, you're a pussy. You're not the man I thought you were. <laughs> and then John was like, oh, shit, so hey, man, that. relax. I was just kidding. He's like, you can't guess like me. <laughs> 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 it was great. Yeah, he's good. We actually have such a good, uh, honestly, I feel like it's going to be such a good show today. All you listeners out there, you better you better pull up your pants and get ready because we're we're about to hit you with Speaking a pants, good show. Today's Real good show. podcast is a brought really to you show. by Belt Loops. Yo, people sell belt yeah. loops, but you know what you can't belts, but you know what you can't buy? Belt loops. Try buying a belt loop, I dare you. I double dare you. You can't yeah. do it. That's why belt loops wants us to know they're invaluable. They're literally priceless. Yeah. If you guys want to upgrade from that piece of rope that you've been using as a belt, belt loops. Check out belt loops. Belt loops. What the hell's a belt loop? It's the I loop that, that you put your belt in on pants. What with like the little? Yeah, and then it's you the put hole. The it's the thing the that hole? makes the hole. You've got your pants, and then you've got the strip. Of course, they Where sell can you buy belt, belt loops. loops? It, you can buy belt loops in Texas. They got those big ones that are like the no, size of a championship buckles. belt. Doesn't no, come the with loop the loop is built into the pants. It's the the little string that you put your oh. that you weave your belt through to keep your belt from just falling off. Wait, they don't sell yeah, belt like loops specifically. It's a yeah. piece of fabric, Hydra. What are you gonna you, you gonna sew a belt, belt loop? loop problems? Is that what you're gonna do? This is this is why belt loop might, sponsors yeah. in the first place. People need to know. Listen, I don't have the time to hem my pants and then use the leftover <laughs> fabric to make belt loops. So you know what I'm going to do specifically? I'm going to go to beltloops.com. The, the sponsor does. Hashtag, <laughs> don't forget to use code hashtag YesPixel. Oh, I'm checking if it's a real website. <laughs> okay, it's, it's, not, it's not a real website. It's available for sale, though. So belt loops who sponsor us. Bellloops.com, <laughs> head there now. <laughs> you know, one day we're gonna get a we're gonna get Dude, a real got, sponsor, and no one's gonna about. believe us. <laughs> no, not a single person, and we're literally gonna flash <laughs> yeah. it on the screen as well. Please, leave us. We got, dude. It's been one hell of a week. We got so much. We got, we got the Russians. We got the the chief election. We've CPD? got some uh, some some 
firings within the the, the police department, some uh, some demotions. We've got the the creation of CPD and the rise of Cerberus. Like, dude, we have the devs even have mm -hmm. been doing so much There's lately. A bear. It's a bear. It's a big I wanna, one. Too. I want to congratulate guy. Fifty two chains on hitting ten k followers on Twitch. Fifty two. Ten thousand followers. If you guys don't follow fifty two chains. Go follow him. If you do follow him, go to his channel, unsubscribe, unfollow, and then go over to <laughs> Hydra, please, and follow him. <laughs> uh, I also want to congratulate Troms on hitting your Halloween 666 sub goal. Good job, man. Thanks, man. We're, we're yeah. doing the thing on Monday. I mean, this will be... You guys will see this a week and a half in the future, so it'll already be yeah. done. But no, I got I to... Gotta, uh, Anime, French made. Can you, uh, can you outfit send me that picture for research purposes? For by the way? Yeah, it's for be. research purposes. Yeah, dude, she's a she's mm. a little bit of a looker. Wait. Um, I okay. There's something that's been a little bit. It's been kind of on my chest right. that I want to talk about because I thought it was so funny. We have uh, we have a member of this podcast uh, who goes by the name of Fifty Two Chains, and. He plays a character mm -hmm. called Carmine Costello. And Carmine, uh, Carmine gets a little bit of the short end of the stick occasionally. Um, um, mostly I brought on by yeah. his own doings. True. true. Isn't that right? 53. Eh. True, true, eh. true. Eh. <laughs> you're, nah. you're, I just you need know, to use my gun more <laughs> in role play. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was on the Little Men's with Miles. And we we're we're getting arrested. Like we are we're going away. I don't even remember for what. It just I can't remember. Carmine's there. And it comes up and he's 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 being Carmine, right? Oh, hold on. Um you guys there? Is this me or Troms? You okay? Troms. Troms. I'm here. No, I'm here. Troms, Troms, please. Troms, get back to us. 50 chains did you hack all of the ips to stop him from uh, telling this yeah he should watch what he says okay you can't be so talking man about me like that do you know what he's talking about yeah. what uh story he's trying to tell yeah i know exactly what i know <laughs> do you want to exactly give us some oh, okay oh, all right, i'll right. let him say uh but all right while we're waiting for him to come back dude, Lord, seriously congrats on 10k that's huge what's funny is you got partner before you got 10k which i think is really cool yeah i think I think I got partner at seven k, around there, yeah. But th there are people on Twitch that have less than a thousand followers and they're partnered. Like I've seen a guy with three hundred mm -hmm. followers and he's partnered and he's never streamed. Uh, so, some people, uh, some people like if they're I like a music exec or if they're um, you know. <clears throat> Hello, welcome. Yeah, Hello. Well, oh, dude, that was yeah, weird. I don't know what just happened. Hacker, Everything man, just cut out. Tell the story. <laughs> He's like, what's what you're saying, okay? Your video's off, by the way. Be careful. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Is it off? Okay, hold on. Um, still off. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Fifty Chains is here the whole time. <laughs> what I mean, are you talking about? <laughs> Fifty Chains is right here, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. <laughs> this is better. Wait, We're getting arrested. Still off. I'm standing around your, your and I'm role playing with the cops. Off. You know, they're all standing around me. It's no, oh, it's not. The camera, I can see the it. Heck? Oh, now it's off. Okay, hold on, hold on. It was on the whole time for me. There we go. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah, yep, good. Okay, so we're standing. I'm standing around. I'm role playing with the cops, right? Like they're all aiming guns at me because we just. Uh, we just I literally took a hostage. I just took like Gato P hostage mm -hmm. at the hospital because they were going to arrest Jim for something. Um, standing around role playing with the cops. Carmine shows up. He pulls up in his car and he's he's smack talking. You know, he's doing his Carmine bit. Um, well, I don't even remember what I said to you, but I was like, I was like, Carmine, I'm going to have to do you dirty. And I like I kind of walked up to him right now. I'm getting face to face with him. I'm like you're going to regret what you've said or something like that. <laughs> I slide oh across God. the hood of his car. I get into the passenger seat and I, I've I listen, I don't do this ever, but I had to do it for you. 
and I seat minus one him and I like got in the passenger seat, instantly climb into the driver's seat. By the way, I looked in advance to see if there was exhaust coming out of your, your car to see if it was on. And I saw the exhaust and I was like, I got to do it to him. So I get in his car, <laughs> drive it off. <laughs> it's law. Like, and it was funny, too, is I think he locked it like as soon as I got in. So yeah, I, I locked I myself out. I drive to Maldini's and I see Bon Bon played by Demon Mungo. Uh, He's standing around. He's got an umbrella out and he's in full Bon Bon uniform. Uh, and I get out of the car and I aim a gun at him. And he's, and he's I'm like, get out of the fucking car. And then he gets in the car because there's like a weird locked door glitch that's been going on where you can just like get in. If, if the door is locked when you're not around, it's like unlocked when you when the car loads in for you or something like that. So he was able okay. to get in. He gets in and I try to get back in, but the door is <laughs> locked. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, well, open the trunk, like do something. He's like, I can't. I was like, all right, drive the car next to me. <laughs> I'm just going to run. So I'm running down the street with a gun. Like, like, I'm like, I have the same to you, by the way. He's like, okay, cool. And we, we, he drives next to me all the way back to Vespucci Beach where, or Vespucci where uh, Jim has been, he's essentially been arrested. I, I, it was funny because I, I felt bad. I was like, I never seat minus one people to steal their car. I think it's scummy, but so, I was like, oh man, it's That's car so mine. Funny. I, I have to. I gotta oh, do it too. You know, I got put on bike patrol after that because of you. <laughs> Until I got it back. That's why I was chasing you guys on a bike. You and that uh, sedan. I and how like, did yeah. you... How did I what? fucking box you with a bike? I let me pull up this clip so I can show you guys. Oh you yeah, boxing. so I <laughs> we got a car and then the chase lasted about thirty seconds because I drove it into an alleyway <laughs> with a no... the bike. That's kind of pog. <laughs> it was it was like just a really good end to that too. It was just like really good role play. That's great. That's funny. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Yeah. So. Well, that was my experience with Carmine for the week. Is I guess good. you really uh, <clears throat> minus one yourself there. <laughs> I don't know if well, it's a minus you one. Have to it see was minus like... one. It's kind of dumb. <laughs> oh yeah. Very mm. good. Very good. Yes, sir. You want oh, me to play a, it? We got a video. Yeah. Let's. Well, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Are you sure? No, 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 Screw up fine. your camera there, Chance. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Fitz is yeah. just having some camera issues today, so if anything seems weird or laggy, it's not. It's normal. It's fine. It's He's here. Strange thing going on. What, it, he looks different on my Discord for some reason. So Demon Mungo said he wanted to come with us too. He's like, let it, let it, let me come with you. He's like, I don't trust these cops. Tires on the back left. Dude, that thing is so fast. Yeah, it goes 50 miles an hour. That thing goes as fast as this. I got this ridiculous. I taught Carmen how to go fast. Look at this. And this is where he knew. He's at this moment. Why didn't you just back into me and fucking white your person to me? Back right now. I stuck. I was laughing. I was like. No, I don't think this should be going on. They uh, took the hostage with them. I think it was a uh, hostage, so we're just giving pursuit, but they got a box in a block away. <laughs> King Owen, dude. Damn it. We got him boxed in a block away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. I almost yeah, stayed in the funny. car just because I didn't think they'd be able to get me out. It was such <laughs> like, <laughs> like, a, like a small little alleyway. That's very funny. <laughs> I like how you've perfectly turned down the one spot in there that leads to nowhere. <laughs> that leads to nowhere, I guess, dude. I, I'm not. Listen, I don't watch escape videos on YouTube on what are the best escape paths I to get away. I bet that's actually from. a thing. <laughs> I bet they're a Discord. I bet uh, it I bet is. Dude, people is. train. People actually train. People people go and watch like the stunt jump videos and try to figure out how they can use the stunt jumps to get away. Or like, do you, do you, have you ever seen that one that's on? It's just off of Popular Street. It's like uh, between Capitol and El Rancho. And there's, if you go into like, right next to the canals, there's Popular's a- Popular's north and south, right? Industrial north complex. 
Yeah, it's on the it's on the eastern side. It's the one that goes north to south, but it's more on like the southern side of Popular, near mm -hmm. where El Rancho connects. It's like just north of El Rancho. Uh, it's on the east side of the canals. There's a way that you can go in behind like an industrial complex where there's like um, a bunch of tubes and pipes, like a water okay. treatment kind of area. You go behind that and then you turn towards the canals. Um, and it like leads towards Elysian Fields uh, as well. Mm -hmm. Elysian Fields Freeway. You jump off of like the upper portion and you go you jump over and onto a billboard essentially like oh, one of those, I, like, I know which one you're talking about yeah. highway billboards and it's it's like just thin enough that you could like skate a car across the like and standing the platform side. that's on the bottom right and if you do it properly you'll skate across all the way to the opposing side of a lesion where the cops can't follow unless they People do the jump set as bikes well up on that billboard they would literally park bikes there and then and like, do a car swap. And then because it's like an alley, they would get out, get on the bike get and just drive bike. off. <laughs> so bullshit. That was a 2.0 strike. That's strat, funny. Yeah. I think the first... Uh, I think those strats are coming back yeah, now. Yeah, it's a lot of more. I think the first time I ever saw like an incredibly like well-planned like, oh, this is like super like impactful. It was uh, Lean Boy. It was... It was two point oh lean in boys. A bush at, at they Red kept Raj. driving the cops around and like getting them to bunch up. Took them down an alley. They had one of those big red exploding barrels. Drove them by it. Slow rolled. Stopped. All the cops stopped and got out of their cars to aim their guns. And the lean boys all like light up and shoot the thing, and it explodes and kills like ten cops. And it was so. I was just like, whoa! I didn't know you could fucking do that. It was just. It was a really. It was a cool like interesting way of like using the like what's what you have available on the map it was very cool back in the time it was a big deal a too was... because like now you've killed cops so now the stakes are really high yeah yeah it was good times there was a gula gang did something pretty cool recently like a couple of days back i can't find the clip but they drove they drove a chase into red garage and they had t two to three cars that looked the exact same as the car that was being chased and everyone was dressed mm -hmm. similarly and i think they hit a vault or something and they all just got out and started <laughs> scrambling <laughs> towards different cars and then they split so they didn't know who had the loot it was pretty cool it was like straight out of uh did you ever see driving. the um chain gang like 20 hostages all in the mustangs they like there's a vault robbery and Chang Gang basically has like literally 20 hostages, all dressed exactly the same. And they, quote unquote, duct tape their hands to the wheels. And they tell them all that there's a bomb in the car. And if they, they, if they stop for the cops, that the car will explode. And if they if they speak too loudly, the car will explode. So they're not allowed to like talk to the cops. So they go to the uh, LSIA airport, to that, that first hangar sort of on the east side. And as the helicopter for the PD's coming out, you see the cop, the chain gang park in the back and run in. And then you just see like 40 cars driving out of this fucking place. And it's just, it, they're just like, what is happening? And everybody's loving it. The cops are like, this is so <laughs> cool. All the, the chain gang are like, yeah, it's fucking working. It's so sick, man. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. That's, they, they have some pretty good ideas. Stuff like that, I think is, it really like reminds you that this is a role play server. When they do like really cool like getaways and strats and stuff, that's that's what I yeah. feel like bank robbing and stuff should be like really interesting getaway strats and not just me drive good, <laughs> which I think we're gonna get back to now that I, I think I okay, so I don't know a lot about this I'm not very like up to date but I guess there's a car nerf anybody want to tell me about that? I wouldn't yes. say it was a nerf. Balancing? I'd say it was just a. Uh... I think it was it, it's a test run right now because it's not nothing set in concrete. So it's just what, something what they exactly want to try. Uh, essentially, every vehicle has had their top speed reduced by about okay. 20%. So it means S-class vehicles that originally would go anywhere between 160, 170 top, are topping around maybe 140, right? Which is kind still around fast. Like, I mean, around that area, 135, 140. CVPI is still really fast. Before, yeah. I don't know if they were affected, but they only go like 130 in S in an A plus. 
No, well, you can if, get if them up on, to like If you're on like a downhill, like if you're on a downhill on like one of the long highways, you can get them there. But it's pretty hard to get them there. Yeah. Um. So that that was the, kind of the change, and it's across the board as well. So for like A vehicles, A vehicles are only going about like 120 uh, ish, 130. Um. You know, it. They also did a little bit of tuning to. It feels like they did tuning to the traction of the vehicles as well i'm not sure if that's entirely true or not but it feels like the cvpi like it uh spins out a little bit more than that makes sense this week i was driving and i finally like started feeling like i kind of like understood how like to drive well in the cvpi and i kept slipping around and so i took it to the mechanic and i was like dude this thing has to be broken can you fix this they're like it's it's great (laughs) like this is all you man okay buddy damn it yeah, honestly, I so the sad part is the CVPI is like really good right now, like like incredibly good, so good that there uh, there, there was an S plus chase where I was actually like keeping up, and I had uh, somebody with me and they were doing columns wow. like the whole time. Uh, it was Windaloo and uh, it was but it was it was just like we just managed to keep up, and then there was another S plus chase where I just could not keep up. I was paralleling like a god, but in straights, I just could not keep up with them. But sad part is that the CPI is so good and the interceptors, it almost feels like they're in the same class rating. Like if you were, if they were to go A or A plus and the CPI is A or A plus, like they're almost like the CPI is better than the interceptor. That's so unfortunate because the interceptors are, are great. But in S plus, there's a, a very obvious gotcha. class difference. Any other, any other big changes? Yeah. Uh, we had we had, we talked about a lot. So CPD, the police department, PBSO is now changed to Cerberus Police yeah. Department. That's right. So Cerberus is funding PBSO, and I believe this has been in the works for a long time. They even mentioned during the reveal that it was like May or something like that that. Uh, they were reached out to i think and like this is kind of bit like been in the works uh but essentially what it means is that in role play pbso is getting money from cerberus so pred who's money like hungry seven all the time in debt. seven million dollars in debt needs money so the only <laughs> way you can get it is to go through cerberus um but what that means is like new uniforms new vehicle liveries like we're essentially like Mm -hmm. kind of a new department we're like an enhanced department now which i i really i I don't know how you guys feel about it but i love it it's very cool i think it's so cool and i think there's (laughs) i I hate it i hate the cpd of course you do uh screw cpd I think uh, if, you, if you use a little creativity, you can make your outfit look very cool. I think John Hydra looks so fucking sick right now. You know, people make fun of Moose. Why would they I make fun of him? It's really good. Great. Somebody called him a cyber pirate. I was so like, that's cool. sick. No. He'd be like, I would download oh, a yeah. car. <laughs> you know, um, the whole Cerberus thing, buying PBSO, mm-hmm. now CPD... That type of role play, I feel like it's got a you know a finite date. It's got an oh, almost certainly because you you you're pretty much taking the role of a corporate villain organization. It's definitely yeah. gonna come to a big head. With villains, yeah. it is, it is, and the timing with that and the whole Russian thing and the Russians being their own little militarized armament funding mm-hmm. conglomerate. I hope they both clash. That's what I'm hoping for. The CPD and the Russians. I'll make an alt character Russian just so I can shoot <laughs> CPD officers. Fuck That's CPD. actually so funny. I'd be so down for that. Yeah, be uh, the way John shit. Hydra has been explaining to people when they ask if like Cerberus gets special treatment, John Hydra just basically says Cerberus is essentially sponsoring CPD. So what they're getting is advertising yeah. for giving money to the police department. They wanted to give back to, to, to the society. So they sponsored this thing. And in return, they get a lot of really good ad revenue because if you're getting arrested and you're going to, you're going to see them. And if you're, somebody's getting arrested, you'll see their logo. So 
And they're like, well, what if you pulled over Blaine Buddha? And like, well, I'd, I'd do everything I normally do. I'd get, you know, ask where my badge is and he won't get out of the car and I'll call for backup and he'll drive off. It's the same as always. <laughs> Yep. They're like, uh huh, and like, I'd like, no dude, different. I arrested. Her. I, I pulled over Hardcastle, gave him a ticket. If you don't think I'm going to give Lang Buddha a ticket, you got another thing coming. <laughs> you know, one thing, another thing, another dynamic on the server right now is the FIB. Oh, so being good. I'm so happy for. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy for. Yeah. Uh, for our boy, that's so nice, man. Yeah, it's finally happening. Yeah. yeah. That's fucking cool as shit. And uh, one thing they're being tasked with is investigating CPD and the Russians. So, yeah, that's a third element. I feel like um, all these big things are happening. So a climax is reached and then 4.0 boom mm -hmm. hits, you know? Like, I don't know, the fucking survey gets... That would actually be a sick end if it, got, if it was like, like a nuclear war. That would actually be a crazy end. Better than what happened with 2.0, where they just pulled the plug and that we actually get like a know. like a yeah ending. Yep. What are your opinions on uh, Bloom uh, Moose Brother? On Twitch, I believe. What so are, I don't what know, you know much about this. So I need you guys to tell me. This leads into the next topic. I love it. Um. Okay, I guess for those of you who would like a little bit of information on this, I'm going to meta a little bit. Um, so for anybody who doesn't want to hear why Bloom was fired, oh, wait, so was he actually play, fired? Uh, don't listen. Yeah, so uh, the way I understand it is that uh, Bloom, is, Bloom has had a lot of stories going on with the HOA. Um, and one of those stories eventually came to fruition where Ezra Funkhauser now deceased uh pulled over Lizzie Byrne and Lizzie Byrne had a bolo out for her literally on the MDW uh that said if found like we need to apprehend her because she's wanted not like a warrant but she's wanted for the questioning you know on the whereabouts of Lilith Earhart who is Sis Folker's daughter Right, so pretty important member of the HOA. Uh, he pulls her over, talks with her for a little bit. May, I think maybe even cite, give her a citation, then he let her go. And then somehow, Sis finds out that Ezra did this, and he's now Sis is hunting Ezra. He's like, oh, I'm hunting him, I want to find him. Uh, he know, He's like, he let the lady with who knows where my daughter is go, like... I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about freak him up, you know. No, talking about uh Ezra, okay, okay. Ezra. So oh, wait, Ezra's the one that Ezra. pulled um the person over. Got it, okay. Pulled Lizzie Byrne over, yeah. And then so he's like mad because uh and you Hydra, you and I yeah. actually had to deal with a lot of this because we arrested Sis like a day or so after maybe the day of the traffic stop. And so he's mm -hmm. he's upset, right? And he's like he should have just read the bolo and all that, right? And like, okay. Anyway, a uh, little bit of time goes on. Sis is still upset. You know, he's still hunting Ezra. Bloom, for whatever reason, is now feeding him information, telling him what he's wearing, you know, telling him about the disguise that Ezra is wearing, telling him, you know, what ha like almost how to mm. find him. I could be wrong on the chain of events with this, but this is how I understand it is that he was essentially feeding information that should not have been fed to him about Ezra. And it eventually led to Ezra's eventual death. When Presumably, can I make some, can I make some guesses real quick? Cause I don't know any of this. Okay. Um, I am assuming it was Sis that killed Ezra. Oh, I and then I actually don't either. Know. Um, I, I, see, I just can't see, like, I, I guess they could just like hand wave it and let, um, let Bloom come back to the PD. But God, could you imagine Bloom in the HOA? Oh man, that would be so sick. That would be good. So anyway, uh, Bloom ends up, they discuss it. They discuss it for a long time. They do an investigation. 
it ends up being talked about in high command both on and off the server i assume because i know they did an on server discussion about it on stream uh and they finally decided to let our boy bloom go said he's fired but you can reapply after 30 days so uh from what i know he got fired and immediately started doing copious <laughs> amounts of drugs <laughs> As very you would, blue, you know, very being blue, the gutter yeah. protege that he is. Yes. <laughs> and uh, that's kind of where we're at right now. That's where the I, I think there's been more a little bit more story developed, but I think he's kind of weighing out what he wants to do. I know I know Moose Brother is considered in the past permaing Bloom. And just looking at that and what turned him off from it was the fact that he would make a new police character and then essentially just hang out with yeah. the same people again. And but have to like start a new stories and all that. So he's like, why yeah. would I do it? Right. So we'll see what Moose Brother has in store. All I know is that Moose Brother is one of the best people when it comes to rolling with it, to rolling with the punches. And so whatever happens, he's going to make some excellent role play. He's going to figure out what he wants to do, whether he wants to stay with the police or, you know, if he wants Bloom to join the HOA. That'd be sick. The biggest downside is that and uh since this comes out after halloween i should i won't have an issue saying it bloom and i had costumes that we were gonna wear for halloween together we were gonna do Aww. lenny and kenny hawk because he has like mm -hmm. the big chin right and so he's he was gonna get the helmet and the eye shadow and everything brother you know he's gonna do the, the, the kenny thing and we're, <laughs> i was gonna be lenny and uh, we're going to go on duty and do the hot awesome. cops, right? But anyways, ride along, I might yeah. <laughs> come up as a ride along or something. Yeah, it's might have to. We'll see. We'll see yeah. what kind of state he's in. Uh, he's also been like kind of off the server lately for uh, uh, personal Diarrhea, reasons. Get some medical stuff. Yeah, it's really bad. <laughs> really, really bad. Just Constant. Like a, it's like a leaky faucet. Swimming in it. <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> what are we talking about so I'm, I'm pretty sure that's really all there is to talk about with that uh, but i want to get your guys' opinions on what you think about kathfar lydia vale one of in my opinion the best cops that we have and you know i could be wrong but the, she she is always somebody who gets the job done and does it right. Maybe you know, little little like heavy on the the gun sometimes. You know, maybe a little uh, a little aggressive. But that's her role play. She plays a serious cop who takes her job seriously, like a realistic officer should, and she does that because she, Kathfar is like mm -hmm. ex-military i believe she she served you know i think she's she's welsh so i don't know what military she would have served in she but she i know she was uh like yeah she was like uh, oh <laughs> she was like uh, an actually uh she was like an officer okay. right i don't actually uh, know or um uh, i i'm not sure what yeah i believe she actually did uh so uh, i've veteran. i've never um i've probably exchanged 50 words with veil ever total on all of my, across all of my characters yeah. but as somebody who's kind of lower uh, in the pd anytime i saw her i always saw her as like a very commanding presence i always saw her as like incredibly competent and as like clearly i if you asked me if she was high command i probably would have said yeah because it just she just behaves with that sort of like energy you know if I ever had like yeah. a really important thing and I had to pick somebody who I needed help with from it in the PD, especially if it was related to a, like a well-known individual or a gun situation and people that I didn't know weren't around, I'd definitely go to her. So I can't, I can't attest. To, I don't watch her streams. I've never seen any clips with her in them, but she seems like very competent and confident, right? Yeah. Well, you could always just yeah. trust her to get I the mean, job done. I mean, she had a whole done, unit, right? That, HVTU. I think that's super important. Which was yep. fucking cool. Max Muller was yep. a part of that. And he never had anything but, like, yeah, yep. Stubble, Stubble had really high stuff to say about it, so. Yes. 
Fenson, also a big part of that. Uh, uh, but where I was going with this is for no reason as far as we know or has been released or has been talked about, um, Kaspar was demoted to senior and then had all of her certifications, including the street racing unit, sir. That seems kind of weird. Removed. It does seem really weird. And I, I don't even know if, like, we should really be talking about it too much. But I want to because I feel like it's unfair. Yeah, I, I got... I feel like she put in so much work for the PD. To, even back when I was a cadet, she was one of my FTOs. And I remember one time I was out with her. And I made, I made a bunch of mistakes that day. And they were dumb mistakes. Like, I didn't call something fast enough. Or it was, it was just stupid little shit. And I felt disappointed in myself. I said, I could do better than this. I'm here with one of the officers who I look up to as somebody who does this right. And I want to do it as good or at least try to do it as mm -hmm. good as she does. And I felt disappointed in myself. And I actually remember saying to her, I'm like, I'm like, Vale, I'm sorry. I know we've only been going for like an hour and a half, two hours. I have to end this FTO session early because I'm just so disappointed in my performance today. That I just want to like go, you know, get off duty, take a break, and just like think and like, how can I do better? Right. And she's like, Are you sure? I was like, Yeah, you know, it's, I just, I just really don't want to be here right now. She reached out to me too afterwards. She's like, Hey, you okay? Like, is everything all right? I was like, Yeah, you know, I'm just like, both in character and out of character, disappointed <laughs> in my performance. That's, right? that's really nice that she reached out. That's cool. Yeah. She like reached yeah. out like right away too. She's like, Are you, are you sure? Like, it wasn't like anything that happened, was it? I was like, no, I'm just like, I know I can do better and I'm not doing better. And I'm like, I'm stagnant as a cadet right now. And I'm like, fuck yeah. You know, but yeah, it's yeah. just, it kind of hurt me. Um, my opinion on the whole situation is if I'm, a, I, I get punishment role playing PD. It, it's, it's things ending are but good. When because it gives you the opportunity to do mm -hmm. different shit, but the way it was the way it was done for her, it was yeah. it was fucked up, man. I feel like there was a role play avenue that was robbed. I hate when decisions are made OOC, but they veiled as IC by saying like buzzwords like high command or, or senate. You know those type of yeah. decisions where it's easy as shit to do in role play. Like they could have sat her down in character. Gone through this list, she could have given given her rebuttals or whatever if, if she did, but no, it all happened so behind closed doors, and that, yeah, that that that's that's it's like it's it's stupid. I don't get it. I never understood that part of uh, you know mm -hmm. PD role play where shit is done and the person who was in question isn't addressed. Like the way Bloom was fired, that's a per that's a good way. RP. That's yep. a that's a positive way. Yeah, and the way it was done for her. Or other cops, who, unless it's like a super like big OOC rule break, like you, you or you say some wild shit, and, and then you fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, then I get it. But if it's if it's something that's like very vague as shit, like what happened with her, and it's fucked up, man. But yeah, that's that's how I feel about it. I hope that doesn't happen to me or you or anyone in here. Yeah. Because okay? well, that, Trump has kind of experienced suck. some of this, right, with the with the cone situation. Yeah. Well. I, I can speak on that too and how awkward it is to get this punishment and it's out of character, right? And they send it to you over Discord and then you get you get this punishment and suddenly you have to figure out why this is happening in character, right? Like, what do you tell people? And in her situation, it's even, it's so much worse, right? Like, because I just, I was like, oh, you know, I suspended for a short amount of time because of and then i'd be like redacted you know and i just say like you know just make up something silly but with her it's like this is such like a drop in rank and in certifications it's like how do you even try mm -hmm. to role play this what do you Cause, where cause do people you are gonna go, oh why did you, you literally would have to just and make goes, something up i don't know it's like great role play right yeah that's yeah and that's where i feel like so Maybe there's something we don't know. Maybe there's something that hasn't been released. Maybe there's a, you know, a mm -hmm. reason behind it that nobody's saying. I don't know. But what I do know, she worked very, very hard. She worked extremely hard to, 
get where she is to prove herself as an officer and i think is unjust mm -hmm. I, again i don't have the full story but this is just me as like an outlooker looking in and uh no no shade on anybody who like i'm not saying like whoever whoever did this whoever decided it not saying like you did the wrong thing i'm just saying how i feel about yeah, her i i kind of uh, feel i kind of feel like um if you are not banned from the server right any punishments that happen should be in character right if unless yeah. unless if she's not being banned I'm from the dead. server then whatever happened wasn't egregious enough for her to be disallowed from being on the server if that is the case then her punishment regardless of the severity should have come in character how hard would it have been for a, a high command to get on for five minutes and go Valen, you talked in the captain's office this happened for this reason this happened for this reason this happened so for a period we're putting you we're taking this away and we're going to look at things and we're going to evaluate you right oh okay now she has role play now she's like okay i was pulled in the office i was talked to by the captain and when people go why were you fired she can go well uh, the captain pulled me into the office or you know a, a high command pulled me in the office and they told me this and this and this and this so i gotta you know get back to basics and figure stuff out it just seems like there's avenue that can be approached um but again we, we, we lack critical information right so we don't know what the situation is right. but in general my feelings are if there is a punishment to be delivered it should be in character unless the punishment is you are not allowed on the server yeah. anymore <laughs> yep 100 percent Doing it that way, just doing it like the old C Rod. It's, it's awkward. It's unfun. It feels bad. Um, and now it. So you guys have heard of quiet quitting, right? This is where like you basically do like on paper exactly the bare minimum of what you need to do to like complete your job and nothing else, which I don't know why that's called quiet quitting. That's just called doing your job. <laughs> this is just like corporations just want you to give more than they're paying you for. But there's there's like a follow-up thing called like quiet firing where you essentially make somebody's workplace so hostile that they don't want to be there anymore and they'll look for a different job that's what this feels like to me like i'm not saying that's what it is but just on paper my gut says oh right. like clearly like somebody doesn't want veil vale in this department anymore and this is their way of getting rid of them right that's like if you like if I knew nothing about the server, just based on the evidence, right? Like, oh, clearly, like, somebody doesn't want this person to have control, any power of any units. They want them to, like, do the bare minimum. And ideally, they'll leave because this sucks, right? Maybe that's, like, a wild thing to say. And I'm not saying that that's the case. I'm just saying that's what it feels like to me. But, yeah, fucking sucks. Heart goes out to Vale. Uh, to Kath, I know she fucking role plays her heart out. Um, doesn't she also play a yeah. GSF character? Yeah, Dude, maybe summer, this would be a good opportunity version. for her to play the fuck out of that character because I've I've role played with that character a couple times. Um, that character is scary. <laughs> That's a uh, scary motherfucker. So I'd be down to see it. Southside is Southside's dead gang. I'm, but, dead I mean, maybe like listen, right if somebody now. with like the the RP experience and the sort of like like big cojones that that Kath has like starts putting more time into it maybe it could turn into something else i saw a clip where afro said he was like coming back like hard on south side so you get those two people together and maybe we get some real south south side has been like emotionally dead to me for months i feel like like almost nothing happens i don't i don't ever see yeah. clips of it i don't hear people talk about it when i go there i almost never interact with anybody i don't even see people wearing like yellow green or purple masks anymore yeah, I'll be honest on that. Um, EU times Southside is it's not dead. It's it's fine. There's this presence, but the, in my opinion, the two reasons why the Southside isn't like the South Side of the server with gang RP and everything isn't doing so well. The the most obvious is Prio. People who have gang members on as recognized. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, they when you do gang RP, there's a certain way you have to RP, and that way you know it's hard for you to. Get your role play recognized outside of the circle you're in. Um, but the, the second reason why, uh, in my opinion, Southside role play is dead is how the status quo is when people engage conflict mm -hmm. role play nowadays. 
You know, back in the day, conflict role play was it was milked. It was dragged out because people had the understanding that, you know, conflict is generates content. And the longer this goes on for the better it is, the healthier it is. Oh, see, the more enjoyable it is for everyone involved. But now it's turned into a fucking eSport fest, uh, six men <laughs> run it down, <laughs> kill the other guys, demand shit, you know, like a t like a fucking playbook of how to approach a role play. It's so streamlined and it's so fucking narrow minded. And, and, and when you do shit like that with the, in a role play server and there's like big consequences, that's a recipe for fucking burnout and disaster. That's why no gang like that. That's why the turnover rate for gang members, and uh, fucking gang leaders and shit, is way higher than anything. Well, unless you're an established gang on the server, they don't have prior and you know have mechanics supporting them or mm -hmm. trusted with mechanics or trusted with uh, you tables know, and shit. crafting benches and yeah, yep. yeah. If if you don't have that to to help generate or facilitate your role play. You're fucked if you're a gang member, and you gotta compete too against uh, against gangs like that. So it's just it's just a recipe for disaster. Until the server changes changes its like uh, role play ethics, that's shit's just gonna stay the same. And ho and right now they've been making the right decisions in my opinion, making cars uh, slower, uh, like taking skill gap out of the equation. I heard somebody I heard somebody uh, in character it. saying that class twos are gonna be harder to come by or something. I think what they're looking at with that is if certain players' benches are found, like some of the benches that are currently turning out the most class twos, that they're going to reevaluate the class two situation. Mm -hmm. Make them more like, expensive uh, or how give them like a weekly or monthly yeah. limit or something. Something like that. Who knows? This is just, again, just hearsay from... Okay. I, I, mean, I, I think that's a good idea in general. Um, I've been going pretty hard on John Hydra with the class two things. Um, usually what it involves is because it's such a when you're alone, it's really hard to like arrest somebody that has a class two on them because your options are like one approach the person and ask them to cooperate, which they won't Two, approach them with a taser. And if they don't cooperate, tase them and hope that you can arrest them before they murder you. Three, approach them with a weapon out that you can't really use until they give you a reason to justify it. But by you approaching them with a weapon in your hand, you've gone so many levels like above in escalation already that it's a really comp complicated situation. Like, what are you baiting them into a gunfight like at that point? Yeah. And technically, I think it's OK, like according to the SOPs to do that. But role play wise, it doesn't feel very good to do because they have yeah, a class bad. two on them, right? You are allowed to to approach them in force and detain them, and if they give you a reason to, you can shoot them. I actually made a whole list. I showed this to Troms. I made a whole list. I went through like a bunch of um, uh, God, I always forget what these are called. Um, uh, case laws. And I like sort of like as John Hydra in character, I went through and I was like, well, if you think about this one, really what it's saying is if they have a gun and they say they're going to kill you if you don't stop. Now they're qualified for someone who's issued a threat while they are a fleeing felon. So it's like, OK, great. Now I can shoot them if I want to. And technically you can do that. But now hearing that, like somebody's getting in trouble for being like, quote unquote, too trigger happy, like that seems scary. Right. You don't want to just yeah. be gunning people down for running away, saying they're going to kill you with a class two in their hand. And I think that would be OK a couple times. But I think you do it five times or one time to the wrong person. And suddenly it's like you get an email. Right. So what I've been doing is I've been yeah. like kind of treating it like you would like a felony stop. You know, I'll call like two or three officers. I'll call for like two or three seventy sevens to come and back me up. Two of them have lethal. I'll have non-lethal. I'll approach them and get ready to arrest this guy. And so it's been really fun, um, but I haven't had a ton of opportunities to do it just because, A, people don't respond to 77s for, like, stuff like this. I will literally be like, I am currently at this street. I am I am following an individual with two Class 2 weapons on their back. 
They are alone. I need two seventy sevens to help me apprehend this felonious class two wielding individual. Radio silence. It's like, okay, guys, come on, man. But yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it going, keep trying to do it, and just hopefully people will start responding to shit like that. Um, but that feels like the that feels like the best It'll way to out. approach it. But leading into that, if we start seeing fewer class twos. That would feel quite good, I think. I think seeing less people like that. Because right now, if you're like, hey, you with the class two, you're going to jail. They're like, why are you being such a cringe cop? <laughs> it's like, well, what do you mean, man? <laughs> Just make everyone yeah. love to hate your character, like 52. <laughs> you just uh-huh. love to hate him. <laughs> you know, I, I see you just today. I ICU'd because I got, uh, I was talking shit to someone with a legal class two, and I was like, hey, you're not going to do nothing, because if you do, entire progress with that class two is gone out the window. So you're not going to do nothing. Your hands are tied. And there's a criminal behind me, and they're like, I am, and they shot me <laughs> the in the back fuck? of the head. And <laughs> my Maldini's. And so I ICU'd. And LSPD chat, <laughs> who is it, Bundy? Fucking Bundy said, okay, Carmine Costello. Uh, this ain't nothing too, 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 you know, this, is, this ain't no SOP, so I can say this. He said, uh, Carmine Costello's in the ICU, attacked, stabbed, he wasn't said he was shot, stabbed at the, at Maldini's. And everyone just thought, like, a few people fucking posted <laughs> rip bozos and shit. And another guy, po- let me show you the meme they posted. This one what too. the hell? These people, man! These fuckers! Yeah, welcome to having a goofy <laughs> character, man. That's, that's the life. You get away with a lot, but you don't get a lot sometimes. Uh, when it, like you, like when you start hoping for a serious yeah. arc, sometimes it can, can be rough. That's why I was so happy to see you have like a serious yeah. arc with Bass. That was real cool. So people were showing me clips of that. Oh yeah, Bass. Yeah, you want to talk about? Oh, let's talk about Bass actually, because that's that's kind of <laughs> this week as well. Snake. I'm gonna. St- I have to step away oh, for a yeah, second. Oh yeah, that's on the door. list. I will uh, let you guys have this. I'll be right back. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, Carmen, you're LSPD. Why don't why don't or uh, the 52. You, you play LSPD. Go ahead and explain what's going as on. Much, as much as it hurts me to say this, but, uh, the LSPD has been falling apart. It's both a good thing and a bad thing. Bad thing, you know... Actually, no. For me, personally, it's a good thing. For my character, it's 100% a good thing. For the department, it's bad. You know, for the department, morale's probably going to be low. Everyone's going to have... Everyone's going to be considering leaving and shit. Because once one, in, one, one influential person leaves... Then the droves begin. People just start fucking dipping everywhere, left, right, and center. Yeah. But for my character, all the high command people in LSPD who um, wanted him quote unquote fired or reprimanded or gave him strike points, they're all gone. <laughs> Every last one of them is gone. So now I have no oversight. I never get any emails. I never get anything at all. No strike points. I am untouchable. I literally, I could do whatever I want and no oh. repercussions, man. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The only person that could, you know, is Molten. And Molten, Molten, I think he understands the character and he gives me a lot of leeway. But yeah, I'm just, that's, if I was in the CPD and I did half the shit I did in the LSPD, even though LSPD is seen as a serious department, I feel like I would, I'd be at like 25, 30, I would have been fired two times over by now. So that's, that's that's positive. Uh, so Bash left. Uh, now there's a chief to, election to join the troopers. Yep. He, yeah. Yep. And someone was telling me that the the troopers now oversee all departments, which uh, I don't get. Uh, I think because because Coil, <laughs> it's yeah, Coil. But, that's well, that's how. Does every member of the trooper outrank like Kyle? Uh, uh Grand no, Marshall there's or... still like a an actual ranking system within the troopers. Mm. So like they, they still have like sergeant or whatever. But we are supposed to treat them as though they're like you know, like high, higher. obviously higher up on the chain of command, yeah. <laughs> LeBron James. <laughs> he's really yeah. good at basketball, okay? What rank is he in the troopers? Oh, he's uh he's uh uh sergeant now, I believe. It was a you cadet know what would be funny? last week. It was a cadet now. Sorry. You know what would be funny is if they made Peach, Tinker, uh, Brick, Ingvar, Fingal, all these cops, if they made them troopers. 
How mad would people be? That would be kind of fucked up if that happened. That's one reason why uh, I might not... Uh, if I ever do get the opportunity to... Uh, you make Carmine a trooper, I'm probably going to say no to it. Just... Because I know there's a lot of people that spend a lot of time on the server. Yeah. Trying to get into the troopers. And, you know, it was seen like... It was seen as an achievement, right? As, yeah. you know, end goal for, like, cops who've been in the force for a long time. And for, for them to be working that hard and then that this happens, this has got to be a degree of mold. It has to be. Easily. Yeah. It's, uh... I don't know, I think... I, I kind of see it from like a role play standpoint, right? Where it's, it, yeah, you're right. It is something like pe that people would work towards, right? That they, it's, it's like an end goal for a lot of people. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. There's also the Rangers. We, we just had a Ranger quit as well because, uh, Another ranger got made into a ranger and then promoted past her <laughs> like instantly. Yeah. It's unfortunate, but it's how things work right now. You know what I think it is? PD was like at the beginning of 3.0, uh, PD was like very serious, right? Like very strict. The ranking structure was strict. Everyone was uh, promoted on merit alone. Like, and there's a lot of people who joined during that era and they came up during that era. And now that everything, like the server goes through a phase where everything starts to get loose and doesn't get as serious anymore. And it becomes like Simpson-y, Simpson you know, where anything can happen the next day. Yeah. Because, you know, everyone has a feeling that the, you know, big boom's going to happen. It's like the final phases. So decisions are made with light regard because, you know, who cares? It's going to come to an end anyway. Might as well, you know, see, see, you know, go crazy with it. And uh, yeah, that's, that's probably what's happening. The troopers, were they, were they a thing in 2.0? Yeah. A... Oh, in 2.0? Yeah, it was. Well, what departments were they in 2.0? They must have been a thing because... Uh... I don't know, actually. I know the sheriff department was a thing. Cause, uh, oh, I, oh, was I know how to look this up. Let me look up Copper on the Wikipedia. This should say when she was. She, I think she's been state police since the beginning. Uh, let's find out. Do, do, do. Uh, I'm not seeing like dates anywhere in here. Hold on. Yeah, I guess I guess not. It says, uh, oh, I see. Hold on. February 5th, 2021. She was a she was made into a trooper and that was the very beginning of 3.0. So it must have been a thing at the end of 2.0. Yeah, it sounds about right. I was so tuned out at the end of 2.0. I was there for like the the early mid portions of it, but I tuned out like after that. Who do you think's gonna Who do you think's gonna win the chief election out of all the candidates? Okay, could... we actually we got we got a bunch of like really really good choices. Um we obviously have uh, Bundy who, in my opinion, is, like, one of the most logical choices as somebody who, like, you know, he's really good at playing, like, both sides of the field, very similar to how Bass was. I wouldn't say he's, like, a scene leader like Bass would. Like, Bass would come on a scene and he'd just fucking lead the shit out of that, right? And I love that for Bass. Uh, Bundy's not the greatest scene leader, but he's, he's, like, so good at, like, the back end, right? Like, he... If you need something, you can come to Bundy. He'll sit you down and he'll have a conversation about it, right? Like, he's good at seeing everybody's points of views. He's thoughtful. He's intelligent. He's caring. But at the same time, he's also, like, willing to slam down a punishment or, you know, give shit where it's done. 
Uh, do I feel like his recent role play trying to have Bloom assassinated is should be thought about? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, how do you feel about Bundy? Uh, he's uh, he's got a Russian flag in his backyard, and the Russians, you know, they go out on a field trip where his house is one of the pit stops. So, you know, I'm not a... <laughs> that's Davik right there. That's Davik. He, he's in bed with the enemy, and plus some. Um, he was one who initiated the coup d'etat in the LSPD <laughs> at the meeting, fucking aired out all the LSPD's dirty laundry and uh, say they wanted a chief election, which probably caused all of this. So he's the one that started this mess. And uh, he's he's in bed with Cerberus too. This is all of Carmine's thought process. He, this is how I see it from my point of view from my character. Right. So yeah, he's probably... Yeah. He's no bueno. Fuck no. Hell, fuck no. Never. Okay. Bueno. Well, let's let's move on to who I think is one of the next most likely candidates. Uh, and mostly because I think he again has a lot of the qualities that are necessary to be the chief, but I don't think that he will be chosen. Max Muller, played by a Kinky Hobo. Yeah, I could get behind that, but I don't. I don't think he wants it though. Oh, yeah, it's hard to say as well if he actually wants to be chief. He, in my opinion, would... I think it would stress him out too much because he gets he gets kind of... He gets he gets stressed and uh, he gets overloaded, which I don't, I don't blame him for the stuff he has to deal with. But yeah. I feel like he's got such a good point of view on, like, everything. And again, really tries to see everybody's sides before, like, making a decision. But isn't yeah. afraid to, you know, say, like, oh, you're... What the fuck are you doing? Like you talking know. about bass? <laughs> no, we're talking about uh, who Next. who would be best choice for Ooh. chief of police. Mm -hmm. No, we talked about Bundy, and Bundy. We uh, I said Bundy would be a good choice because uh, he sees everybody's point of view. He's not really a scene leader, but he'd be really good at like mm -hmm. the logistical side. Of he's chief. a great um, uh, he's a great slice of life role player, Bundy. He surprised yeah. me. he surprised me with that fifty two. 52 said he's in he's in leagues with the enemy <laughs> with Russia, so he's a no-go for, for Carmine. And Cerberus. Oh, and Cerberus. Hail Cerberus. And he enacted the coup, so yeah. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> from a from a role play perspective, 52, who do you uh, think would be a really good fit? From a role play yeah. perspective. From a not Carmine from a not Carmine shaded chief? role play perspective. Yeah. The way I, the, the the best chief for me like is a chief that you know brings a lot of drama to not his department but into like interdepartmental drama like with the CPD. So someone that fucking hates CPD and hates the SDSO. Some people shy away from that type of shit, but I'm telling you, man, that's where the best role play is when it comes to police and shit. Like put, telling people this is my scene, that type yeah. of shit's so good. So much better than the so much better than the handholdy shit that lasts for months <clears throat> and years. If conflict like and if the chief turnover rate was like every four or five months, that that's what I'd want. I want a, mm -hmm. like a hot headed chief. Some people could say he's not good, healthy for the server because and you know I don't. But uh, who who would, who would fit that role for me? There's a lot of choices for people that could like bring a lot of conflict. But I don't know if there's a lot of people that could do it gracefully. Because <laughs> that's what I think the chief needs to be. Uh, Bun Bundy could pull it off, but I don't know. I feel like Bundy is, Bundy's cool with uh, all the other departments. I know Brian is hated. Brian would be. Brian would be Brian's a wild also kinda, chief. He's, he's, he, <laughs> yeah, he, Brian is hated, but he's really cool with uh, Kyle Pred, which is a sheriff. And that's where most of the drama is going to come from. I, I think so, Brian's good enough that if he became uh, if, chief, he could, he could flip flop on that. He could like start a bunch of conflict with Pred, and that would be pretty cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs> in character, I'd, oh my in character, my character mm -hmm. wants Brian as chief. Uh, I, Max Ooh. Muller, probably Max Muller. Yeah, because he's he's stubborn, right? He's no. I, I feel like he could pull it off. He's stubborn. When when he has a like a if he has a grudge against someone, he holds on to mm -hmm. that shit like an old lady. Yeah, and, I think he could do it. I've seen mm -hmm. him on scenes lose his shit. It could be spicy. 
And yeah, I, tr- I really I trust so. Kiki a lot, right? I trust. What about Dan? Oh, man. No, no, it's fine. Sorry, fine. I didn't yeah. mean to wrong. Dan is a wild <laughs> card, man. <laughs> that I don't know. I feel like Dan's. Dan, he's too. He's too uh, agreeable with uh, the power structure. Like uh, people in high command, he doesn't fuck with at all. So I don't know. Maybe if he was given the position of chief. He'd fuck with them, but I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure about Den. I think um, I think it would be a hilarious couple of weeks with Den as chief, and I think that's about as long as it would last. <laughs> Although, I mean, if he took it seriously and actually tried to like play the role and like really like take care of his department and and all that, I think it could be very interesting. The guy is the the streamer. I forget his name right now, but he's very creative. His characters are always like very animated. It always feels like he's role playing. Dean's Dean, so cool. Dean's yeah. so cool. It, it always feels yeah. like he's role playing. I think very early on when he started RPing, there was a little bit of drama around him molding. Um, and so I might have like started off with like less than a great perspective of him. But after like interacting with him on Crim and Cop a bit more, it, it genuinely does feel like he's actually a character and actually role playing. And each of his characters are different, yeah. you know. So I think that that would be very interesting to see. That's the main thing I want. I want the chief you know, to be somebody who can handle the OOC stuff well and minimally, right? And I want it to be in character. I want somebody to handle the in character stuff as role play. I want more role play from yeah. the chiefs. And I think that's why we're so lucky to have Kyle playing Kyle Pred because we get endless fucking role play. This guy, it never feels serious. He could be screaming, calling you every name in the book except one. And because he'll get banned for that. Yeah, which one? Yeah, the R? What are you talking about? My chief would never. My, my, my uh. <laughs> no, never. Uh. My thing with, uh, like, P- uh, chief, sheriffs, all this shit. My oh, grand marshal. Grand marshal is too. Fucking, so such, cool. Such it's a, a corny uh, John Hydra uses that every day. Yes, grand such marshal. Of course, grand marshal. Right on it, grand marshal. <laughs> well. Like, the perfect chief for me is a chief that doesn't give a shit about his department and doesn't baby them. Like, uh, cause I feel like, uh, if you're a gang leader, you have to, like, take care of your gang. Because the gang, gangs are more, they depend on you more than, uh, like, if a, a cop, as a cop, you get handed a lot of things to you. Like, you got an endless supply of guns, endless supply of everything. The only thing you really need from your fellow officers and your higher-ups is support on the field and charting. Right, I decided. Things. I know who I want as chief. Um, yes. This is because A, oh. he would absolutely not baby fucking anybody. The role play would be phenomenal because this guy's hilarious. Problem is it'll never work because he has a, a an IRL job and he's not around that much anymore. But 5 Oh, uh, the... Andrews. 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 Be a perfect chief for the LSPD. Holy fuck. That guy's so funny. <laughs> I met him one time and he was fucking talking shit about me. me John Hydra and asshole. Andrews, <laughs> when I was still like a fucking booth boy, dude, he would drive by and he would actually, because I did like, I did like asshole RP, right? Everybody was like, everybody, okay, let me paint a scene. When the booth, when people first started getting like widely hired at the booth, everybody was brown nosing. They're hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Have a nice day, sir. And then you had John Hydra. Hey, fucking slow down, asshole. People are going to get hit out here. The hell, you didn't see the fucking five mile an hour sign? And and people yeah. really hated it. They did not. I don't know if I just could, didn't role play it well or if I role played it too well. But they hated John. And I, I almost got like, fuck you, John Hydra. And people would like threaten to arrest him. And and then here comes 5 on Andrews. And I'd be, he'd be like, I'll slow the fuck down when I'm fucking your dad tonight. Stuff like that. And we'd like like tell him he has a little dick. And <laughs> dude, it was so funny. It was so good. He actually like gave me all the RP. So I really, I just think really highly of him for that. And I, I think he would yeah. be a great, uh, he'd be a great uh, chief, chief of police. I could see it. I could definitely see it working. Did you have... I do like Five O so though. Funny. I really respect like... him. <laughs> Dude, he, he looked out for Moose Street early on. He uh, he's just he's a good guy. He's, he's a really good guy. 
Uh, he made an entire room of people point and laugh. That's hilarious. Like, so good. Screw, 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 screw so five. funny. Dude. Screw five though. Screw. <laughs> really funny guy. You know someone who's had an interesting the is the right the dichotomy is that the right word like dynamic like a reality shift let's say that, let's use that reality shift with the new CPD shit. It's uh, miles away with stubble. I don't know if you got insight on this, Troms, but uh, I was watching a stream one time and he was talking about how uh, he he didn't fuck with the CPD as heavily as he thought he would. Like okay. Whole, uh, you didn't. Uh, no, I I heard a little shit. bit about this. He said it was because they wouldn't let him wear his cargo <laughs> pants. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Scratching deep, really throwing a tantrum That's such over a stubble thing. Jesus. Okay, and you know what I said to him too? I said, "Wow, we're more alike than I thought, <laughs> huh?" Damn. He just laughed. He's like, "Yeah, I guess we are." That's too funny. <laughs> My cargo pants. One one boy right there. It's all the pockets. I thought we, I, I thought we had. I thought we had something to talk about there, but <laughs> Jesus, no. <laughs> just like just fucking pants. All right, okay. I I think there they, there could be more to it, but I I'm not like privy Did to. Did you guys have any? Uh... Oh no, yeah, there was there was more. There, you know the the whole veil thing with the mm -hmm. HVTU. Oh yeah. Uh, he felt so. The whole CPD thing happened same time as that. So yeah, he felt like he lost a bunch. Is of HVTU shit. gone? And the, the the cars being slowed down. Fuck with Air One. Like, Air One can't keep up with S-Classes now, too. You know that, right? Yeah. Maybe, maybe on straights. We just have to uh, We have to be more creative about it, but it just... Yeah. It's tough. You know, it's really tough. And this week's been a stubble nerf. Stubble nerf. The next thing you know, the radios are not going to work as well. So, bye-bye, stubble comms. Stubble stonks. The radios aren't going to work as good. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine you're across town? You just hear it. <laughs> it's just that, it's like, that it. like, you know, <laughs> your radio is like uh, outside of range or whatever. Have you guys had any uh, pog moments in RP this week? Anything really cool that happened? Oh, yes. I don't know. I just feel like I've been enjoying it. Uh, last weekend. Uh, what did I do? I got on the server. There's this guy who he owns a pirate bar out of Chumash. Um, Polanski, something Polanski. And he's been doing this pirate role play thing for a while out of Chumash. Like, not real pirate. He's just like modern day dude mm -hmm. who just like owns a bar off of Chumash. Um, so I got to talking to him and I, I even actually had him on a boat when I was doing uh, uh, some Shark Ranger stuff, right? Like, I just had him there. So I got to, I got to know this guy and he's telling me. He's been like deep sea diving around the island, like creating a map of the oh, whole place sick. and like sea life and stuff like that, like where you can find things. And I was like, dude, I'm all for that. He's like, yeah, it's tough because I've been buying oxygen tanks for like Oof. 2K and they yeah, last like 90 so seconds, shit. right? And so I was like, okay, I'm going to see what I can do for you. I reached out to Malton a few days later. I was like, Malton, can I lend this guy one of our three submarines, you know, to go use around the island because it's got unlimited oxygen. He's like, yeah, you know, if he's doing it for a good cause, if you trust him, you know, just make sure it's put away properly. I was like, yep, like, I'll do that. So last Saturday, I get on the server. Uh, actually, a, 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 a shut up wave. Richard Tibbs sent me um, sent me a, a twat by Polanski that said, like, his pirate bar was opening. And he's like, oh, look, pirates in the city. And I was like, oh, he's on right now. So I got on the server and I called him and I said, hey, uh, do you want the submarine right now? Since, like, I knew he was online. I hadn't talked to him in a couple of weeks. And he's like, no, I'm not interested right now, but uh, maybe we'll hook up later. And, you know, we'll uh, I'll get that from you at another time. And I was like, OK, cool. And I didn't want to just hang up on this guy. And so on the spot, I was just like, you know, it'd be funny if I were to do, if I were to suddenly go. Hey, what the hell are you doing in my apartment? Get the hell out. Of oh! And then just hang up on him. <laughs> and so I did that. 2.0. And then I got off. I got off the server. And I see a few hours later, somebody messages me and says, were you on the <laughs> server? Because he 911 saying I was just on the phone with Captain Moosebeard and he hung up after someone entered his apartment and screamed. Right. And then so at the next meeting, Tessa got up and she's like, oh, there's a uh, they'd be on the lookout for Moosebeard. If you guys see him, you know, do like a wellness check on him. Make sure he's OK. 
And I was like, oh, dude, you know, it'd be fun. <laughs> Kidnap role play. So I got on later that day and I took my boat, my tugboat, and I beached it just off the shores of Chumash. And I set up this scene that made it look like a dozen pirates <laughs> tried to beat me up and drag me away. And I set up like random shit all over, like a compass with a cigar sitting on it on a rock nearby and like uh, shovels and a That's hole so being cool. dug next to some rocks and like, like oh, this whole big scene, you know, and I jumped off my tugboat like 40 times trying to get blood to appear on scene as well. Uh, finally, I 911 in. The scene's complete. Uh, uh, detectives come, they document it, right? And there's like, now the, the be on the lookout for Moose Beard is like far more serious, right? It's like, really be on the lookout for this guy because he, uh, he, is, he is missing. So I take my Sunday off, you know, as I normally do, let that kind of broil for a little bit. I reached out to Miles and I was like, do you want to do something like pirate related, you know, for me? Because I, I told him what I did and I was like, we could do something pirate related. And he's like, yeah, you know, let's do it. So I came up with this story where uh, Monday morning, I'm, you know, I'm starting my stream. Uh, we get on just a little bit before tsunami so we can get this done quick. Uh, we're both laying out in Polito on the shore. And I 911 in like, hey, I just heard an explosion offshore and a couple pirates washed up on shore. You guys should come check this out. Helicopters arrive, police oh, arrive. We're laying there. We're doing like pass out five or something like that. And as soon as the cops come, Whitley and I both just get up and start chugging alcohol. We're going like, oh, that was one hell of a fight. Those old scurvy dogs didn't know what hit them. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like we just got out of like, they were expecting to find me like dead or something like that. But they just found us in good spirits as though we just had like a big brawl against a couple other pirates. And I was like, look at this hat I stole. Right. And I was like, I beat up the captain and took his hat and it's mine now. Oh, I had the go. red tricorn that I've been wearing. Yeah, so I had like role play behind why I had the nice. tricorn too. Yeah, so and obviously the, the cops are like, what the fuck? Like, it's like, hey, calm down. We're going to get you some medical. And Whitley and I, I bought us a bunch of alcohol. So we're just drunk as, as shit. We're stumbling around. The, the EMS is trying to give me medical, which I don't need. So I like kick them. I'm like, yeah, hell away from me. Scurried up. I just got out of the biggest fight of my life. We beat off two dozen guys. <laughs> beat off. Hey, whoa. What do you mean by that? I just wanted it to be funny, right? It's like not often that you respond to like an obvious kidnapping and just get like good, silly, stupid mm -hmm. role play, right? So for the last like half an hour of the tsunami, we just goofed off with the cops. They put us in cuffs okay. too, those bastards. I was like, why is it Miles and I always end up in cuffs together? Uh, yeah, I, I watched that. I saw that. You were in cuffs. It was a thumbnail. I don't know where I saw it. I was wondering what was going on. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Yeah, so that was like the response to that. And then Sweets, who he was the original responder to the tugboat scene. He sees me at the rooster later. He's like, Uncle, what the fuck are you doing? You've been missing. <laughs> that was one of my like poggers things from this week. So because of the hat too... Uh, Moosebeard's been playing a little bit more evil, like more chaotic evil than like his chaotic neutral that he typically is, where he's just yeah. like always causing weird shit. I've been doing just a little bit more evil things, still keeping the the same yeah. tone of Moosebeard, where like you know he's he's a cop that gets it, but now he's a little bit more evil. Just I want to create more conflict yeah, role play. A... Something else I've been trying to do too is is like say things I wouldn't Sometimes. normally say. I got like during uh, you remember Hydra when you were passed out on the bed and I was like, well, we can get this guy some milk. <laughs> right. And then I look, I, I'm like, Juno, what do you think? Should we get this guy some milk? She's like, yeah, let's do it. She's not really paying attention. I was like, all right, well, do you want to like go in the next room and like hook up to the breast pump station or what? Like, she's like, what she's like wait, what? <laughs> like, yeah, we, we were talking about milk, you know, so on. that all stemmed yeah, from, I don't remember what happened. Oh, we were in air one trying to like save like whiplash one from an, like a Russian MIG fighter jet. And we ended up getting shot down because I fucking laid into this thing. I must've hit it with two mags. It was smoking like crazy. It, I dude, I had like a moment where I was just lasering it. And so it whipped around and shot the shit out of air one and we go down and I don't know, I, I I rolled some pretty bad. I didn't want it to just be like, well, shot down by Russians, no consequences. I got literally shot, right. not by the explosion, but by a fucking bullet from a 20 millimeter Gao MIG rifle. 
so I role played it as um, we had some bad roles in the hospital. So John Hydra is like missing part. His stomach's gone. Basically, he has like a very small part of his stomach that they like sewed up so he could like eat a little bit. But my role play rule is that he's only allowed to eat one time a day. Like one time per shift when I log on, essentially. And it's really hard. It's really fucking hard. It's, it's so really stupid. hard. But I just wanted. I was on that scene. You were moaning. <laughs> no, that was um, that was uh, that's all that I was, could hear. Uh, Alexander Blake's cop character. I can't remember. Last broken oath, the streamer. <laughs> but John Hydra's like, I don't feel so good. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, so that happened, and then they, like, fixed him, and then I was like, oh, I've been playing a lot of cyberpunk. It'd be kind of cool if I, like, like for some reason, like, the technology from the new suits, like, made me feel crazy. And so I started acting like a cyber psycho, and I, like, was treating everybody like they were Russians, and he thought he was, like, captured by Russians. And so he, I kept, like, strangling people, and then I was literally about to execute Juno when Moosebeard shot me in the back of the head. Isn't that what happened? Did what? you shoot me? What? What did you do? No, I, 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 went down you. I thought you shot me. Went down. Remember, I was like, I was holding, I holding a gun in Juno. She was like on her knee. I was like, get out your fucking knees. I'm going to kill you, you copy bastard. And then, <laughs> what did you do? I don't do? think I you shot you. I assumed you shot me in the... I thought you shot me. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. I, I haven't shot a cop since they released that thing. That statement mm -hmm. said, don't shoot cops or we'll fire you. Yeah, that was because a fucking a cop stabbed another cop. <laughs> what, were you, what was she thinking? That was, that was weird. I remember that day. The brawl and And then the Grand Marshal came in and everything was fine. Was... And then we got out from there. Yeah. But now I have Cyber Psycho RP if I want it on deck. Um, but yeah, that's where the whole milk thing came from. Because <laughs> after I was feeling better, I was like, what the hell happened? That was so <laughs> funny. Her reaction to that yeah, was Yeah, she's funny. Gold. She's really funny. That was quite good. I've been playing a lot of um, games uh, not in the city with like some of the, the people from the booth. Um, Clebron, who plays Dewey Dangle, um, Cherry, uh, and uh, Je Jeanette. That's all been that's been really fun. I've been quite enjoying that. It feels nice to be oh, PD Yeah, it feels nice to be playing not no pixel a little bit. I really like it and I'm happy to be there, but playing games with people from the server reminds me sometimes that cuz I I don't I think I just have this problem where I feel really isolated on the server. Like uh U52 and Troms and and uh um Miles and fiend you know you guys help me feel less isolated but i think i do it to myself i don't know and part of it's being a solo cadet um and part of it's just i overthink things but sometimes i feel really isolated on the server and it feels like like i'm just like begging for interaction so to have people yeah come out of the server and play games with me like feels really good because it's like reminds me like like oh i'm not just like a npc in this this you know popular streaming world you know so it feels nice. So I've been trying to yeah. spend time with people from the server out of the server a little more just to like, like humanize myself and them a little bit. It's really nice. I think that's part of what the podcast does too, is it humanizes yeah. us. Yeah. I think so. Um, I feel that. I'm the, uh, I'm the opposite. I actually, one of the reasons I like being a solo cadet is uh, I get to use it as an excuse not to not to ride with people, so I can go out on my own and do dumb shit, and the repercussions only fall. Yeah, you, know, on you me. don't have to ride with people you know, as non a non-solo, right? Oh yeah, you, solo cadet, you can't ride with people unless. Well, you can ride with FTOs now. They changed it, uh, and yeah. um, but when oh. you're when you're just a, a regular like a patrol officer, you don't have to ride with people. You can just ride solo if you want to. A lot of people do. No, but uh, uh, it's like an. Ex I shouldn't be saying this <laughs> podcast, but it's like an excuse. Like I say, hey, I'm I can't ride with you because I'm a solo cadet, you know. Rather than saying no, because I can't say no. <laughs> like if I did. Wait, what do you mean? Like no. if like cadets ask? 
know if like anyone in general asks because sometimes I get in these head spaces where I just yeah. want to do my own shit. Yeah, right? I think that I think that I think it's and uh, that's a skill you should work on, where you tell people like, oh, I'm I'm right, I'm flying solo today. But like every now and then, you know, it's good to ride with people. Like I'm sure when we're both not ca cadets, like you and John will ride together. Yeah. And you'll find 100%. other people that you trust to do shenanigans with as well, right? That's 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 the main reason, to be honest. I don't want to ride with someone, and I do my shit, like, and then, uh, like, if I commit to a bit, like a police bit, where I'm I'm deciding I'm gonna arrest this person, I don't want a cop to be next to me that says no, don't do it in front of that person. You know, I know it's role play, but I hate being undermined when mm -hmm. I'm doing you know a whitelist job. It just puts yeah, me in a awkward totally spot. That. Yeah, so just just be selective with just make it part of like Carmine's rule that he only rides yeah. with people that he trusts, and that's a very small number of people. <laughs> yep, pretty much. You know, I have I ride with more uh, I ride with more CPD guys than I ride it's with LSPD guys. It's, just, it's kind of crazy. I'll <laughs> deny it though. I'll deny it in character. I'll deny it. But you, Jimbo, um, Peach. Uh, Nancy, all CPD. It's fucking crazy. No, L I don't think I ride with any LSPD guys. Apart from Tinker. Tinker and... Uh, Tinker yeah, loves you. Tinker. That's it. He's mm -hmm. the only LSPD guy I ride with. Uh, if Mono Block comes back around, you could ride with him. He's fucking hilarious. Oh, Milser. I don't Dude, know. Wh where is Milser? Milser, right where now. are you? Hold on. We miss you. Where are you been? We miss you, dog. Dog? Hey, chat chat sorry hey audience listeners um if you guys hear this could you guys um tweet mil sarah and tell him to come on the yes pixel podcast and stream more because we love him and also go follow his twitch channel which is hold on it's just m-i-l-s-e-r-a m-i-l-s-e-r-a uh, you might need to cut what i'm about to say next but last time last time we shot at someone else <laughs> something bad happened thanks babe <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember. Wait, what was it? <laughs> Last time we gave a shout out, something really bad happened, like literally yeah, an hour right. or two Fuck. after. Yeah, we're cursed. We curse people. And I don't think it was the first time. No, yeah, it, wasn't. it wasn't even we're the first time. It happened talk, before, okay, well. too. So if anything happens to Mono, I'm blaming you, Haiju, because you brought his name up. Wait, who uh, was it? I can't remember you. now. Hold on. It was bad. Yeah, it, was, it was a terrible time. Oh, no, dude. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Hey, you oh, I'm sure, I'm sure I just tweeted to. I just fine. tweeted. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. No, I didn't even see the tweet and I re or the, the message I remember. And then okay. before the time before that, I don't remember what we did. We like, were like the, calling out somebody saying they're really good. And they're like, I'm never playing on the server again. Oh, oh Booba. Booba's ready. Lost FIB. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Literally the day after the podcast. No, it wasn't. It was the exact same day as the podcast. <laughs> oh, no. We just got oh, Milsara oh, killed. Oh, shit. He's going to get fired. With DM, tell him not to hop on, the, not server. Get on the server. Do not get on the server. Do not get on the server. <laughs> oh, that's too funny, man. That's funny. That is really funny. <laughs> Uh, yeah. good times. Have you guys had any? Yeah. No, go ahead. Well, okay. Uh, I was gonna say, uh, I would like to talk about the Russians and sure. the developer stuff because the devs have been doing some just killer shit lately. So, for those of you who don't know what's going on, uh, there's now little Moscow, literally uh, right outside MRPD, and the devs, uh, I think Toby said in like 10 hours, put this whole compound together and just built this compound just outside right they put up walls and shit and they they have like I love a bunch snow. of props they've been using <laughs> so and they put like sometimes yeah they have snow little in the Moscow, area little, little they have pipelines and shit that like dude it's it's so it's honestly it's so good but it all stemmed from this like big cons conspiracy thing between pred and i think michael simone i think is why this started because of like beef between the simones so and pred funny. he gets so much rp uh, for like a week or two oh dude he really does they target him too it's so good for like a week or two before that there were a lot of like 
targeted attacks by the devs, right? And there was it was little things like, you know, Pride getting shot down while he was in a helicopter or somebody with a missile, a uh, missile launcher or somebody like a, a sniper rifle plants a bomb. For instance, there was just one a uh, week or so ago. Um, they planted a bomb at Bob Smith PD. First of all, they spawned a a front end loader, so like a big yellow excavator, put it in front of the of the gate to Bob Smith, which blocked the gate from opening because it's like a it's like a big grate that opens mm-hmm. like a garage door. So it blocked the door from opening, and then we scanned it for a bomb. And they must have they must have taken them a couple minutes to set up the bomb because and we arrived so quickly. But they put a bomb down next to the excavator, right? With 10 minute timer. Stubble and Muller there trying to defuse it. Muller goes in for the defuse when suddenly, boom, Muller goes down. Shot at by a sniper from Vespucci. So luckily I was leading the scene and I told people spread out, get around, get get high ground, like look around. I want you guys looking for anybody who could be involved in this. Like they're gonna want to be able to see it right so like find anybody who's suspicious and because i said that Mm -hmm. everybody spread out and somebody got into i think it was like angel or something she got into the vespucci canals and ended up seeing this guy with a sniper and shot him down so we got one of them but every other time we've apprehended a uh a russian they die because the devs just perma them right or they have like cyanide uh, arsenic uh cyanide pills yeah yeah which I guess is uh, is okay for the devs to do. <laughs> Nobody else, but the devs can do it. So, uh, But now, since then, it's grown. They've had like the Russian submarine so out in the sick. ocean. They've had mm-hmm. as a, a couple times they've used that. And every single time, they target Pride <laughs> first with their missiles. And it's so funny. <laughs> We're going to say Chains? Oh, the whole suicide thing. I. I don't think it's as shunned anymore. Well, I, for them, because they're not like, uh, like quote unquote, like real characters in the server, right? They're like tools to like, yeah. like tell stories. So I think it's okay. Right. I think it's also and how you do like, it too. If I'm like, sad and killing uh, myself. Lost so everything. My, all my money's gone. Yeah, my friends yeah, are gone. I'm going to fucking cut my head off. But if it's like Russians, like Russian yeah, brainwashed like, soldiers, that's you not can sign I pulls. No, did someone do that? Maybe, so, someone Probably. did do that. <laughs> But then they 2000 IQ day we had it to it and say it was an accident. It was an accident. So, so oh, you're you my head Oswald. back on. Tinkerman. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but, yeah, well, so no, he yeah, ended up like uh, taking some shit, but then he died in surgery, not in from the drug. Right. Like they like cut an artery yeah. or some shit. All right. Smart. Smart play, smart play. <laughs> the, um... The Russian stuff, though, has been so good. It's just it, it's opened up a lot of like role play for the city, and I actually really like it. I think yeah. it's just it's just fun. The devs are having a really good time with it. I, I've been desperately trying to get them to take my briefcase <laughs> of viral contagions. It's an I actual have item you have, right? So that they can do a Halloween event as an actual item. The, that yeah, I they were have. not. <laughs> uh, and it is literally labeled briefcase of viral contagions. And I, I want to give it to him because I feel like somebody could uh, could start the, the zombie apocalypse mm-hmm. thing for Halloween, right? So there's oh, a picture yeah. of it, and it literally is labeled viral contagions, right? Don't know how I got it or who had it or if it's like a mm-hmm. one, one-off one item or if they, you know somebody can make more <laughs> of them. How did you get it? Uh I stole it out of some guy's car outside of Alta Street. I got what in his car. Fuck? It was in the glove box. That's so funny. And I don't know who the guy was or anything, but I just, I thought it was a really cool item. Does it cool have like a farmer's so market tag it. or something? I think it is like a farmer's market item, but the description on it is like super serious. Like it is, it is in role play. If you were to see that yeah. thing, you would role play as it actually yeah, the being Russians, viral like, contagion. Like, I right? email, like I talked to people. I waited outside Little Moscow for like an hour, like basically not role play <laughs> like thank god um uh derp's char- russian character was out there um to front because he was yeah. like keeping me entertained but i was like oh man i'm about to get off line this sucks <laughs> i don't have any other pictures of this yeah well, I, you I thought i was russian... gonna get interesting russian rp made a russian little bit <laughs> I, I oh. thought you were gonna be like our ambassador and they were just gonna like let you in and shit and like that would that would have been like the perfect tie. Yeah, but right? what are you gonna do? 
Yeah, I think it was it was a little soon after Krim's death to to like make another little men. I mean, I honestly we follow the Dan's rules as well, so I don't think it it's was just an a, issue, it, for me. It was just like a one a shot, like that. goofy Russian while the Russian shit was happening. Yeah, I, I liked plan it. On, like playing him consistently, dude. I didn't even realize that it was like a Littleman thing at first, and like because we were we were oh my mm -hmm. god we were so busy that day we had the the meeting trying to take out the DOC the which I don't even know we're r literally running from the police oh because we so we had a we come out of the meeting with the DOC and suddenly we see a CVPI oh dude I have to talk <laughs> about this oh my god we see a CVPI drive past it's DOC. Miles goes, get in, get in, get in, get in. We chase it down to Burger Shop where it pulls in. He's like, you got a gun? I was like, you're fucking right, I do. They get out. We hold him up. Who is it? It's Yui. Of who was involved in stealing the bus bag. The one who took the bus. Yep. Got Krim Littleman killed. If you guys don't know the story behind it, go watch some VODs. Uh, we, had, we had an interesting VOD on Thursday. We explained to the to the lawyer who we're hiring what happened. Uh... Briefly summarizes Fish it all. TV for nice troms. Go watch that. Yeah, that's check him out. He's a good guy. Uh, we see the DOC. We 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 go to Burger Shot. We hold him up, right? And <laughs> I don't even no, know if you say this. <laughs> I won't. I won't. How about this? I won't. Okay. I won't name a name. Uh, one of the DOC who we hold up goes. Hey, I need to put something in my car. I'm like, why? They're like, I've got something on me that I shouldn't have. <laughs> and I'm like, then you shouldn't have it, right? Like, <laughs> and I was like, what is it? They're like, I have a rubber slug shotgun. Let me put it in the car, please. I shouldn't have this. And I'm just like, what are you saying to me? What, you shouldn't have it? Then you shouldn't have it. Like, why are you looking at me like this is my fucking problem? Anyway, uh, we end up getting them in the car. Uh, Miles takes the other one's gun. Um, we get them in the car. We're like, you know, still holding guns at them. Uh, we kidnap them pretty much right in front of Anita <laughs> as well. She just happened to be there walking past as we left in there in the DOC car. So that got called in pretty quick. Uh, we take them out to the top of a, uh, like a mountain by Mirror Park and we drop them off. But on the way there, my, uh, Miles is like, Put your put your gun in the glove box. So instead of putting it in the glove box, they put it in the lock box along with the rubber slug shotgun straight into the lock box. And like we're like, oh, whatever, right? Then we're halfway through to like the hill and Miles sees one of them on radio asking for what 77. The fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. And so Miles is like, what are you doing? Do you want me to shoot you? Do you want me to shoot you? And and they they get on radio and they go, getting off radio now. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? Stop. You have a gun <laughs> held in. Oh you. no, do you see? Please, man. First crib, now this. <laughs> so we end up uh we end up leaving on the top of a mountain and we shoot at them as they're running away. And the tr a trooper vehicle pulls up like right as we're doing it. And they see them running up the hill with their hands up and they think we're near them. But we just end up like slinking away in the CVPI and we drive off. Uh, but man, it was it was it was a weird situation. A little, little weird. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was part of that day, Hydra. And it was just like wow. we were going from shit to shit to shit. And then like as you called or as I called you, we were like running from them and we ended up blowing up the CVPI because <laughs> we were both just like at that point, we we're both like flabbergasted. Like what just happened? Was this we the same day you robbed the car? The, the, my CVPI is just the same day as that? Yeah, it was the same day. Jesus, you motherfuckers get around quick. Huh? Dude, we went. We were all over the place that day. It was amazing. Um, it, it, so a long time ago, we actually had a situation very similar to this uh, with somebody who was kind of like shirking role play right we we've had beef with this person before uh and it, it was a situation that we had that where we were like actually I'll, I'll, go, I'll go over it quickly we kidnapped somebody who was a uh who was able to give licenses like mm -hmm. a county clerk or whatever uh we kidnapped them and we made them give us every single license and then we we ocean dumped them, but we purposely did it 
so like they poorly, would remember right we so that we would try to have like a little bit of something there i think we ended up incapacitating them anyway because they were acting kind of weird but one thing we said was like slash me is looking over your shoulder hey don't leave any traces of this in the mdw and then we find out that they typed in <laughs> all licenses given under duress and so even if they if we successfully ocean dump them there was a note there on the MDW that even we said you don't put there. Over the shoulder. <laughs> the, yeah, the, even though we did slash me is watching over your shoulder, right? Yeah. Anyway, so we had a beef with them because of that. We ended up kidnapping this person in, in Polito. And Miles points a gun at them. and He's like, get in the car. And they go, help, I need help. I'm being kidnapped by the little man. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> And then he's like, what are you doing? Like, stop. I have a gun at you. Get in the car. And then again, in the car. Help, help, Polito. I'm being kidnapped by the law. <laughs> <laughs> so my, and then they, they get out of the car and they start running. Dude, just. <sighs> <laughs> so, so Miles yeah. shoots them. <laughs> and then we, they, you know, we leave and. We're like, well, I guess that storyline is done with. <laughs> like, I guess we're just not going to interact <laughs> oh, with that oh. person. Yeah, how do you, it felt like that again. That's what the situation felt that. like. I, mean, I well, it's I, too, I know, but like, nice. it, it's like so egregious so at that awkward, point, right? Like, like what do you even do? after you remind them, like, hey, I've got a gun to you. Like, what are you doing? I'm pointing. He, Miles is literally screaming. I'm pointing a gun at you. <laughs> I'd probably just laugh the entire time. It was it's so just silly, funny. dude. It was funny. That's why we never reported it because it was just like it was just like whatever. Like it doesn't affect us. We're not even like that yeah. serious of characters. But like it's just ba so silly. A bad trait of mine is looking forward to interact with people like that. <laughs> Toxic just, trait. Uh, just uh, just uh, you know laugh. Yeah. Oh this man, funny to it was me. good. I shouldn't have this. Well, then why do you have it? <laughs> that was the funniest thing for me. Uh, yeah, that day was that day was really fun. Really fun. The Russian stuff has been super cool, though. Like, uh, I've been getting up in the jet a lot lately, chasing after, like, rogue aircraft. Uh, yesterday, there was a UAV in the sky. And I was the only air certified or, like, jet certified uh, member that was currently around so i got up in whiplash which is the jet i'm not trained for missile use yet so i got up and i i followed it around and it seemed pretty passive it was just like flying around uh it was like a american style uav i had four missiles strapped to it as well and it was just chilling it was just like looking around the area and wouldn't make contact or anything obviously because it's unmanned <clears throat> so i followed it i gave a description over to dispatch we you know figured out what kind of vehicle it was and then it flew off it, and there's there's two things that I actually was like really proud of with this. Uh, the first thing, uh, at one point in time, we both made like a sweeping turn together, and I kind of made a turn like in advance so that I could be mm -hmm. almost right next to it. And his vehicle aimed at mine at one point, and I oh, heard shit. the lock on beep. And I, I said to myself, I'm not going to report that. I'm not going to say that I just got locked onto because. I know the mechanics involved and simply because my vehicle like, is quote, in front unquote, of his. On. Yeah, it, he had no choice but to lock on to me. And so I was like, OK, I'm not going to say anything because I, you know, I don't think he, he did not mean to do that. And he hasn't shown any aggression yet. So I was like, I chose to, like, keep it from escalating. Right. Uh, and the second thing was he flew away from the island he like flew south towards like the edge of the map and then he he went into cloak mm -hmm. mode because it was one of the devs right like he literally just disappeared and i i called it in as saying like he flew out of nice. our jurisdiction good rp right, right like i can't follow him because he's he's outside of our jurisdiction so i gotta turn back and like you know i watched him disappear but i'm, I'm just gonna say like yeah i can't fly any further it's outside of uh san andreas jurisdiction so i gotta turn around like you know really like amping up the like jet role play Sounds cool as shit. It's just so cool. I took it one step oh. further though, and I made a small report mm -hmm. for the Air Corps channel. And I was like, well, how would a pirate flying a jet report this to the Air Corps channel? 
So we'll put this in the show notes as well. But I drew a picture, for the Air Corps. It's in, uh, it's in the podcast channel for you guys. I drew a picture for the Air Corps to detail <laughs> my findings. <laughs> uh, don't worry for those of you at home this will be in the show notes but it is a it is a a scroll of parchment with some scrawlings on it detailing the what i saw in the air as well as moose beard chasing after it <laughs> and apparently snow uh somebody told me today snow went over this <laughs> on stream <laughs> he like he like actually oh i guess we have a show links oh, yeah. thing too don't we i'll put it in there we just put um, um, episode 15 with it. Yeah, I got you. Uh, he like went over it on stream too. So he thought it was funny. He's, he reaches out. He's like, he's like, uh, excellent police work, Thatch. Uh, get on early tomorrow and we'll set you up with like uh, oh, missile yeah. training. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> so we're going to do that sometime this week. I love the, um, get on early and... like the Photoshop PNG background, like obviously just ripped from Google. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I did it in paint. I was like, I, I don't want to actually like get on Photoshop for this. So, and I was like, you know, what would be even funnier is if the the checkerboard PNG, you know, transparent <laughs> yeah, background great. is still there. <laughs> so, yeah, I thought that was good. It's just silly. It just made people laugh, and I like that. But I at, at the same time, it came accompanied with actual information because I said like. Oh, it moved at about 135 miles per hour. You know, it had four missiles strapped to the bottom. It was a uh, rear rear propeller aircraft. Uh, very, very loud. Like, I was mm -hmm. actually giving legit information on it. But came accompanied with this fucking scroll. <laughs> this pirate scroll. That's awesome. <laughs> and I think the, the Russian stuff it's is fun. actually... It's very just... exciting. What do you guys think about the controversy surrounding it with people being a little upset that people are doing like Russian role play, especially with like the state of the world. Do you right want to go now. first 52? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take a wild guess and say we all agree that uh, it's not that deep. And plus the way it's being handled in the server and the way they're going about the role play, it's, it's, it's not... It's not, it's not making fun at the expense of people currently suffering. It's people playing Russians, okay? Russians as a, Russia as a country. I don't know. Has it been canceled or something? I don't know. I, I has don't Russia see been canceled? It. Yeah, can you cancel a country? <laughs> like, a, of how many mil bil millions of people live in that country? Um, I just feel like, uh... I get, I get. People say people role play to escape reality. I get that, but role play. There's so many elements in role play that are kind of fucked up too, like criminal activity, like shooting people. People might have trauma of you know people getting shot and shit. But if you put a you know a, if you put it like a, a te, oh, how, how do I put this? If you try and prevent. Uh, certain dynamics of role play. Yeah, there's things that you should never touch, like social taboos. But there's got to be, there's got to be like things that I accepted that are adverse, that are not good. So there's a dynamic, so it ebbs and flows. You can't live in, you know, a land of fairies and, and lovey dovey, and everyone gets along, and there are no bad guys, and there there is no agendas. It's, I. I feel like there shouldn't be an issue with the whole Russian thing. It's being handled well. They're playing a foreign country that's militarily armed. It's got no connection to what's happening right now in the the Ukraine and everything. Right. And it's 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 being dealt with appropriately and it's role play, you know, it's it's role play, it's whatever. I agree. Definitely agree with that. Yeah, I th I think Oh, uh, go ahead. I, I think there will me. always be something in any circle that you're doing that will uh, and i don't mean this as like a buzzword but that will trigger somebody like in the general in the genuine sense that will make people upset like dude my my mom died a couple years ago and i still get like it still like feels like a gut punch when people like make your mom jokes but i don't ask them not to because it's not my job to like police everyone around me and the things they're saying if somebody keeps coming at me like specifically with it i'll, I'll ooc and be like hey dude can we stop with the mom shit like <laughs> And then they will, because we're all fucking adults. Yeah. Um, 
if I, I get like the Russians in the server could be triggering to people who have um, either Ukrainian or Russian family or, or in many of the small countries around there in between like that are suffering right now. I can understand how that could be frustrating or annoying to have to see because it brings the thing that you're trying not to think about while you're role playing to the front of your mind. But you also have to remember that this is a role play content server where the goal is for everybody to be having fun. And if you do not have the ability to suspend your disbelief and have a little bit of fun and like lean into the role play and just avoid the parts of role play that you don't like, then that's like a, I hate to sound like crass, but it's like a you problem at that point, right? You can't police an entire server because like a thing makes you uncomfortable sometimes. There, there, and obviously like 52 said, there are egregious things that we all agree on. People aren't, this is just not allowed, but like sort of demonizing all Russians isn't the move, right? <laughs> like implying that all Russians yeah. are bad and we can't talk about or have Russians around feels kind of weird. We're not doing Russia taking over Ukraine RP. We're not doing Russian killing civilians RP, right? It's like they're like devs are doing like a goofy yeah. PD versus Russia fun RP and everyone's laughing. And if it bothers you, just stay away from it is kind of how it feels. There's a, it's a big server and you don't have to be near it. And all you... they do is squat pretty much 24-7 and <laughs> just... listen to fucking basic They got gun songs. skins, too. It's great. Oh, unboxing, yeah. comrade. <laughs> <laughs> the way I like to look at it is uh, we're on a we're on a roleplay server, but not just any roleplay server. This is no longer a let's play as realistic as possible. Let's, let's roleplay the real world. And I've said this before. We're roleplaying mm -hmm. the world of GTA. A, the the actual world that it within all Grand Theft Auto games is contained, and which means that we have these hyper uh, cliche characters that fit into this world in in a goofy way and have no tie to the real world, right? Like look at any GTA game and look at the like side quest or main quest characters that you meet. They are all hyper cliche versions of something right whether it's the italians whether it's you know the the the, the it's just like uh you just call I, my character cliche you just can i say yeah, that, call my character cover, cliche so. i'm offended I'm yeah offended. we we have all these cliche like stereotypes right that we that that are, are used without with the the gta name right it doesn't matter what it is if it's the gang stereotype like the heavy gang influence or if it's you know, just it's just something like that. Like, I feel like the Russians fit into this, uh, just as like that cliche stereotype, like heavily, heavily stereotyped and cliched, but still mm -hmm. fitting into it this. It feels world. very GTA. I don't know no, if no, I'm doing right. justice. It feels very it, but, GTA the yeah. way they're doing it. Yeah, it's just got to be done tastefully. You know, not. Is it not done with 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 bad bad blood of bad in, bad intent? If it's done in a manner that's res respectful slash funny, it's mm -hmm. I say it's fine. Also, I can I can fine. I point out? I I saw I think the post a lot of people reference when they talk about this. I don't think that individual was asking anybody to stop. I think they were just saying that they're over it. They're saying they don't like it and they're over it, and they weren't trying to police anybody's behavior. That's that's the way I interpreted it. They weren't saying. All right, can you guys stop doing it now? I just kind of took it as like this annoys me, and I think you're allowed to be annoyed by things. I feel that. Yeah. So. Like how the CPD as a department annoys. <laughs> yeah, you're me. allowed to be annoyed if it annoys you. Yeah. If it feels not. <laughs> I'm tweet tweet right now. But if there's stuff on the server that like doesn't feel like fun or immersive, like you're allowed to dislike it and not interact with it, right? That's easy for you to say. I gotta go to a meeting room with all these fucking cargo <laughs> pants, red and black, fucking go go gadget. Just, IP just motherfucker. I can't avoid it. How am I? I work with them. Just I wait work until they with give these us all Terminator, body, Terminator bodies, and the only custom asset we have, or the non custom asset we have, is our heads. How sick would that be? <laughs> 
Hey, give then, then we, we everyone will know which departments fill the <laughs> Robocops. You know that stigma. Oh, uh, do you know something I've been doing LSPD with John Hydra? Um, I'd be like, pull your vehicle over. You have twenty seconds to comply. <laughs> <laughs> like from Robocop. Yeah, that's fun. That's good. Um, have you guys had any other uh, interactions or any any people that have like impressed you this week? Anything that's like uh, been like, wow, I. I, this is the first time I interact with this person. Thought really highly of them, or anything like that. Oh, I got yeah. one. I got, go I got one it. guy. This was uh, yesterday. It was um, you know the guy who plays a private, the military private, a uh, Hazel Hazel. Uh, forgot his last name, but he okay. hangs on the Russians a lot, and he's like the. Oh, he's like always on a motorcycle. Like he's got like, pink hair for... or something. Sword uh, on his back. Glasses, uh, camo. Oh. No, 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 glasses, camo, like army camo, mm -hmm. brown dirt camo, okay. you know, like Middle East camo. I took him into the interrogation room. It was him, me, Booba, and Muller. And he takes, he hangs around the Russians and he tails them. They let him in. They let him, they let him follow him and shit. They let him follow them and shit. And he takes notes. And the whole interrogation thing I was doing with him, with Booba and Muller, was so fucking fun. I gave him a plus one, and it was the second oh, time I've ever yeah. given him plus ones That's on the sick, server. man. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. I tried to give myself a plus one, but then uh, <laughs> I said you can't plus one yourself. Oh, What's it called? Yeah. I forgot the I forgot the command. Yeah, it's um, reward. Award. award. No, no, award. it just slashed me plus one. That's how I did it. Is it award? I'm yeah, sure. it's slash award, their player <laughs> I, number, and then... <laughs> the reason I did slash plus one player number and reason and it worked oh. it went through. Oh, okay um, i guess that's a <laughs> the thing fuck? i guess <laughs> uh for me it's uh hammer x marie who plays barbara thunk she's a cop now charlotte mm -hmm. archer dude brick invited me out to this double date he was going on with kate cuffs and charlotte archer was my date moosebeard's date and it was some of the funniest role play I think I've done in a little bit. It was just, we ended up getting married and now we're in this really toxic relationship where like we both treat each other like shit. And like, she calls me like the next day to ask if we signed a prenup <laughs> and like ask me how much money I have. And like, <laughs> you know, meanwhile, Moosterd's oblivious to it. He's like, yeah, I got like three quarters of a million dollars. Why? Get She's like, oh, money, honey, cool. that's great. That's good to hear. Hey, I'm going to call you back a little later. She calls me back later. I'm like, Honey, I'm busy. What the hell do you want? <laughs> like, we got this super toxic relationship. Oh, uh, she's like, can I just sign something for you? And I was like, yeah, just whatever. Just get it done and leave me alone. Make sure dinner's made. Like, like we're doing this like really toxic shit, right? Like, it's so funny. Um, sends me this picture. And it's our, mar our marriage license. And my name on it is a Mose Bard. <laughs> she didn't even spell my name right. Like, it's so funny. Uh, we, we have this thing now where we talked about it. We're like, well, do we want kids? Or I was like, well, I kind of want a bird. And she's like, well, a bird might be too much. What if we started with like a ball? And I was like, I was like, done. Like, all right. I'm like, okay, honey, I'll make this happen. And I walk away. And then I, next day I interrupt the SDSO meeting because I want to change the little men's. I'm like, interrupt the SDSO meeting. We actually flew out there. Um, I walk into the meeting. They're like, what the hell are you guys doing here? I was like, oh, I just came to deliver my wife, her child. And I brought her a bowling <laughs> ball. And I'm making her take care of it. Because <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, we're going to do a trial run, right? Like, let's see how you can. And what I'm hoping is that like when I get the bowling ball back, it'll be like scuffed up or chipped or something like that, right? Like, you know, like she's actually Neglect. taking care of it. The next day she sends me a picture. And it's titled Beach Day. And it's a, a it's a picture of like a beach chair out on the beach with a little umbrella over it. But she's taken uh, like a picture of the bowling ball. And it's literally just like a square <laughs> picture of the item of the bowling ball sitting in the chair. <laughs> she's like, Beach Day. And I was like, oh, great. Have you come up with a name for our child yet? She's like, yeah. What is she, what, what are, I don't even remember what we're calling it. <laughs> something so stupid it's just this role play <laughs> we got going back and forth now it just made me laugh dude she's really funny <laughs> oh it's so good how uh, about you Heisha? god you know i i feel like i haven't been like i said this earlier but i feel like i've been doing a great job of like 
character RPing. I've mostly just been focused really hard on just like being a very good cop. And I think for now, like character RPing is like taking a set to the background. I did some RP with um, Fiend Dota and that felt really good to actually get some RP. It didn't end up working very well, um, understandably, but I tried to do some like heavy, like big boy RP shit. Um, and it was fun and exciting, but I, I don't know if it's going to go anywhere. So that was really fun. But other than that, I've just been trying to be good cop, arrest bad guy. I arrested the Shrugway guy for parking yeah. illegally out front of MRPD. I gave him a five count. I said, if you don't move your fucking, fucking car in five it. seconds, I'm giving you a goddamn ticket. And then I'm giving you, I'm sending you to jail for seven months for disobeying a peace officer. And he's like, you can't do that. I was like, five, Nine. four. And I get to one and then I and fucking did, did it. it. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? He's like, this feels egregious. And I was like, you don't disrespect the five count. <laughs> Arrowhead's good. He's fun. I think uh, I've been, honestly, I've been so pleased with mm -hmm. roleplay lately. Especially on Moose Beer, like CPD stuff. I feel like it's just really reinvigorated a lot. It's for me. Yeah, I'm getting back into the yeah. gym and I'm I'm on um taking drugs. I'm actually started taking uh, testosterone. <laughs> taking drugs. Taking drugs. I started taking testosterone partly to like just like help with my like chemical imbalances and like give me some better gains in the gym and shit. And so I'm hoping that also has a better effect on like my mental state cuz I'm just like sort of like low key depressed a lot of the time and I have a really hard time like enjoying things. And I, I tend to, like, over... If, like, I have, like, a small, yeah. bad interaction, I tend to overthink it and assume that that person now, like, hates me or doesn't want to RP with me. Which is, like, it's all on me. I get that. I, I never put that on the other person. But so I can get, um... I can get very anxious in RP sometimes. So I think that's also part of the reason. Like, since I know I'm dealing with this right now, I'm just, like, focusing on trying to be a good cop and, and have my, like, improv RP, which is, I think, kind of where I shine a little bit, maybe. I tend to, like... Like, off the cuff, yeah. like... Suddenly everybody's laughing because I said some wild shit I had no intention of saying, but it's funny. But I think I I haven't really ever done like long, like long play RP. Yeah, yeah I feel I that. Feel, I feel like with the like long whole RP, the long RP is role play you don't plan. Short term yeah, RP is a role play. I agree with that. Because long term, because. If you overthink the the role play, you just you you think yourself into a corner. But if you just let it happen, day by day, you don't focus on it. If it progresses, it progresses. That's that's how most long haul RP goes. I haven't. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do like even with the Norman Bone Ziggy. He 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 does shit day by day, and it just progresses and progresses and gets wilder and wilder. And then it builds its own little atmosphere, and that's that's how that's how I that's how that's what I've learned from playing mm -hmm. on my characters. Don't overthink it; just take it day by day. If you think of something interesting, try and approach yeah, it and cool. see where it goes. What I'm trying, what yeah. I'm mainly trying to do right now, is not talk myself out of a good thing because I feel bad, right? And I think I'm just trying not to let, like the depression and like the just like chemical sadness push the people that I care about away and push the RP away. So I'm just trying to like, when I experience a good thing, like lean into it and just roll with it. And if I'm not feeling it, just like, like try to tough it out for a little while. And if I really start feeling like emotional or not good, just, just take a break, <clears throat> just take a couple hours, hop off, go for a walk, go do something and just like really be kind to myself. And I think I, I kind of wish more our peers could hear that because i think i think this is not a singular issue i think this sort of general mental state is probably a lot more common than we realize but people don't like talking about it i'm very comfortable talking about like my own flaws and issues that i'm dealing with and i wish more people could go oh i'm fucking sad right now and i'm not having fun i'm gonna go take a break but the rp is so like I have to be on, I have to be going, I have to be doing, or else I'm losing. Like, the FOMO is super, super real, and it's just not a thing that I've ever... Yeah. I experience FOMO sort of passively, not actively. I'm like, ah, oh, it would have been nice, I'll just be sad for six years over this. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I just take vitamin oh, yeah, what, pills. I, what do you take? I'm actually really <laughs> curious. I take a shit ton of vitamin pills. Uh, I can read, I, 
I got a, uh, you know, one of those pills that you put in water and it just dissolves instantly, oh, like just Alka-Seltzer? bubbles up. I got an, I think so, an electrolyte one that's got uh, vitamin B. Mm, it's got vitamins. Whoa. Vitamin. I don't know why I said vitamin. I'm saying I talk Ameri- I say things in American because I'm talk, <laughs> talk to you normal, guys. man. It's yeah, uh, be yourself. And I got day pills. <laughs> what the shit is? This man's just taking whatever. But I know it's not prescription, so it can't be too bad. Yeah, I just take two. Pi- I'll send you yeah, pictures yeah. of everything I take. I take these lavender pills that when I burp, I smell oh, like lavender, la- like, la- like rose hips or lavender hips or something. Yeah, and uh, omega oils, omega fish oils. Yeah, fish oils are people do not yeah, get enough omega threes. That's for damn sure. Yeah, and it's just just this every day before I go live, I fucking down Hell a bunch yeah. of vitamins. Do, do a line, do some vitamins. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm good. Feeling, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Most people do talk. I do vitamins. That's my drug. And a shit ton of water. You know the best thing I implemented in my stream is a hydrate. Oh yeah, thing. except for when people spam it. Yeah, it's funny. It's funny. Even yeah. then, even then, I cheat. I cheat. You, just, you know how I cheat? Just, I ain't got a you, camera you go, on, right? Boop, so I just make boop, the noises. Boop. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> Pretty much. This guy's cheating and drinking you heard water. Here first, folks, you yeah. can't trust this guy. Okay. What, about, what about you, Trump? Are you taking any daily vitamins or anything? <laughs> I don't actually. I don't. I don't even take regular ass vitamins. When's the last time you I, got I your, you ever your vitamin D checked? It. For a lot of people, especially streamers, you might have like low vitamin D. You can take a weekly nope. vitamin D pill. I probably do, honestly. But um, what I do is I trust my body mm-hmm. that it knows what I want. So I'll, you know, if I'm craving mm-hmm. food, I'll eat that kind of food. Uh, but every morning, as soon as I wake up, like within half an hour, I drink half That's a liter so of water, good. which is two cups. Just instantly, I I used to do it before work, and I, I would get up before work, like 15 minutes before. Uh, I'd have to leave. You know, I'd literally get up, like brush my teeth, put clothes on, leave. Um, but I would chug a bunch of water, and just instantly you can feel it rehydrating your body. You feel, like, you know when you get up in the morning, your eyes are kind of dry, but, like, you drink a bunch of water, and your eyes just, like, start yeah, watering yeah, yeah. almost because they're... Yeah, you just feel it throughout actually, your body. People are so fucking oh. dehydrated all the time. I um, I probably drink like a gallon and a half of water a day. And on days where I'm like busy or like at work and I just like can't leave or something, and I don't have all the water I want, I feel like I feel like I'm mummifying. <laughs> I'm just like I'm so thirsty. <laughs> yeah, that's something. Um, yeah. Uh, a couple of my viewers were asking me if we were ever gonna like do questions for like can they like send in questions or anything and i really like that idea Ooh. i love the idea of people sitting in questions um or like clips for us to watch and like r- like let us know what they like what we think of it stuff like that i think that could be really fun um so i was thinking about like maybe we set up like a patreon or something and just like just to like categorize everything and keep it together so it's not just random dms coming in so it's actually like listeners who are like paying attention and we're not wasting time on people who don't like give a shit about the show. And then we could just like make it like a dollar uh-huh. or something <laughs> like something cheap or like maybe have like a tier and like, like, Oh, if you want us to watch a clip, like this is the tier to be in because it like takes up a lot of time and audio viewers can't see it. So then they have to like go and click the link and we could figure something like that. Out. I think that'd be fun. Let us know. Let us know what you guys think about that. Yeah. I think that would be fun. Yep. Um, yeah. 500 bucks for us to write your, uh, Kevin. your, uh, no, 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 that's a thousand. Um, God, what's the thing you have to do to get into the server? Your application. Your, your application. <laughs> no, no, no. I got a better idea. Five hundred bucks, and we DM uh, an admin Ooh. of your choice that and lie to them and tell them that you're an amazing. Oh, perfect. Role yeah, there the you go. Look at I'll DM I'll DM people that uh big big you know big streamers that I kind of talk to like uh Shab. Oh <laughs> uh, wait, you know Sam? Me, go ahead. Yeah, I know that I didn't know. I spoke to him like for two minutes yesterday, man. It was it's pretty wow. eventful. <laughs> yeah, I'll DM them and I'll tell them to, you know, do something. Get Honestly, I'm gonna after you, you know. Actually fifty two, DM Sab and see if he wants to come on the show. That'd be for, actually sick. S- okay, I'm gonna say Sab does not respond <laughs> to my DMs. Okay. <laughs> 
Sav does it. Kyle barely does. I don't DM anyone, man. <laughs> I've stopped. If I get, I, I got this thing. If I get aired for like uh, two days, never again. With no response, and I'm asking a question, I don't ask any more questions. More, <laughs> more men should learn that when they're dating. <laughs> if you message somebody yeah. and they don't respond twice, just stop messaging them. Oh, fuck! Now we might not make money off of this because I just told them like you're ruined it. No, listen, guys, <laughs> listeners, so it's just all a bit that we planned. Obviously, him and Sab are best, the best yeah. of friends. They're actually dating. Yeah, they definitely talk to There's me. Jeans and Sabs are dating. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, he's yeah, my boo thing. Thing, you know. I made a comment about me liking chunky people, mm -hmm. so he decided mm -hmm. to make his head chunky yep. to appeal to me. It's, yeah. yeah. He's known for doing <laughs> that. Yep. Uh, yeah. Anything else you guys want to? You guys got any clout you could you could I mean, weaponize? I, any clout you could weaponize? I, uh, I basically founded the Mandem. <sighs> I mean, listen, without me, yeah. oh, without me, go, the man. Mandem, I never have been. I'm just all I'm saying. <laughs> true, true, true. Uh, you got Zerk in your pocket. What about you, Trumps? Right in the back pocket. Uh, I feel like a little man's probably started something. We probably we probably made something normal on the city i just can't remember what it is at this time that little man clout yeah we I mean, just little cookie clout. cutters of the True. blocks yeah. and then the dans and then the fuck dude right <laughs> i'm just kidding what the hell man wait ain't you in a discord with moon moons <laughs> Yeah, you know, what can I say? We kind of, we hang out. Yeah, so, yeah, hang, so he's okay. got someone too, guys. Yeah, we, uh, we know well, people. We're on a first name base. Yeah, you only <laughs> use one moon when you talk about him. That's <laughs> how so you know. Yeah, he lets you call him moon. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, hey, feels moon. Wrong. How's feels it going? What, you have, what do you have for yeah, breakfast? Carmine, you don't have to go, yeah. hello, high How's lord moon, moon, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking well, Walnut and I were, were joking you? about that yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, we were, we were joking about it. Yeah, it's like, yeah, we're probably just going to go and uh, hang out with uh, with Soda Pop and, you know, Chance Morris. <laughs> you heard of that guy? And uh, Moon Moon. We're just kind of chilling nice. with that. Nice. <laughs> uh, and we're supposed to be doing a, a New World thing coming up. There's some That's Crush cool. Star New World servers starting soon. Why, why do you guys pick the most grindiest? Shittiest MMOs to play. I don't know, man. Such was... High barriers of entry. <laughs> Not a high barrier time, of entry. It's, time it's sink. just apparently you can get to you get to max level in like twenty four hours in that game. Yeah, but so max level means deal. nothing in that game. <laughs> it's yeah, all about fucking true. rolling your gear and hoping it doesn't explode in your face. It's alright, I'm at ninety nine percent for my weapon. Yeah. All I need is one more roll. I've been grinding for the last six hours. I am not like that. That's why I'm. I think I'm just gonna go for like a healer thing. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> Too funny. All right, boys. Good episode. Thanks. This was yeah. good. You know what? I feel like uh, just us is like such a good return to form. As much as I love having people on, we spend like the first hour mm -hmm. just getting to know them, which I think is great. I feel like there's so many streamers out there, or not even streamers, but role players. Like like when we had Riv on the show or uh, Dirtfront that people don't really know that much about and people want to know more about them, mm -hmm. right? So, but I feel like this is a nice like return to form for how how I feel like we're, no offense to all of our guests, but we're usually I mean, the most important people on the show. Yeah, maybe, um, <laughs> you know, every uh, like every couple of episodes, because I, I do like um, every 10, I want to have like two guests or something weird, but then maybe every five, we just do us. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still working on getting Jenny someday. Bear. Yeah, someday. She gave me a C in my pre-final eval. Is, is, does it even work like that? <laughs> no. Is it even no, pre-final eval even a thing? There's no such thing. Oh my god. I do know this. Oh my god. I, I know knew this. it. I do know Wranglers I like her, dude. Um, checking up on cadets. I know if he calls me, I'm probably just going to go 42. <laughs> I can't. Homie can't hang. <laughs> he he fucked me one time, man. He fucking fucked me real bad. Son of a... Yeah, and it was only one hour, and the server <laughs> crashed. Thank God the server crashed. Oh, my God. It would have been bad.
Because I was still, I was playing my character the way I play my character. It's, it's fucking wrangled. That's good. Man. I think you shouldn't. I think you shouldn't well. behave differently. <laughs> um, that's funny. Yeah, I enjoyed. Yeah, this. it was nice, man. It's I nice with the boys. Episode. I feel like um, that's we could just one. chat a little bit. We don't have to. Because I, I like interviewing. We get to hear yeah, more from Chains. I feel like Chains almost never talks yeah. when we have a guest. <laughs> It's because the reason the reason I don't want to talk too much is because I don't want to talk about myself. You know, I want to talk about the guests. It's the thing I want to keep That's the fair. light on them. I much. do tell the guests when when they're coming on. I go, hey, the show is not like about you. You are a guest on the show, and we're all talking about the server. So we care about you. And we want to learn about you and like talk to you, like to get to know you for the audience. But then, like, feel free to talk about whatever. We don't have to. If you want to ask us questions, go ahead. Like. It's, we're all just here hanging out. So, people that do. Do we have any plans of recycling oh, yeah, sure. guests? Like bringing yeah, all I, guests back? I got, I, I vote for Miles because yeah. I miss that oh, one. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, we can get Miles back yeah. on. That'd be good. Yeah. I want to talk shit. I want to talk He'd shit. He'd like to that him. too. And he's usually around these times. Actually, it would be really bad for him. <laughs> really bad timing, but I think yeah. uh, he'd make it work. He's a good, he's boy. A good boy. We love Miles here. He's he's genuinely uh, dude, he's, I'm really had we had the podcast episode with him because it made me like realize that he's like genuinely a very nice guy. And he really when is. you see like just Jim Littleman and Connor Stubble, it's kind of like uh, if you've never RP'd with Whitley, you might not have like a clear image of who Miles is. But yeah, that's really fun. Well, all right, gentlemen. Thanks for the show. Thanks for everybody for coming to episode 15, listening, watching. Appreciate you all. Uh, any last uh, any last things to say, gentlemen? 15 weeks. That's like... That's a number. You know, it's like a quarter really? of a year. Yep. Holy fuck. It is like a quarter Wait, of a year. Wait, is it? Holy that's over three months. That's, Damn. that's almost four months. Damn. Yeah, 15 weeks and was when... Uh... I started streaming and I, my first day as a cop was the first day of, uh, oh, yeah. of the podcast. I think we've yeah. watched you grow up. Actually. Yeah. You've been basically a cop since the, the inception of this podcast. Look at that. Ready? Yeah. This podcast That's made right. me. Pretty we'll take our 10%. Welcome. <laughs> our tithe. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yes. Pixel episode 15.